All I'm saying is you find my killer, you better not hug him. Boy, I haunt you the rest of your life. Daydreams, night dreams, I haunt your steamy dreams. <laughs> but Smitty, you see, that's why it's important for black people to go to jury duty. Otherwise, they'd walk free and we would have no justice. You know something, Jay? That's very well said. Well, this is a great place. That's what a barber shop is all about. A place where a man can come in and uplift himself and his community. Yo, you guys have got to watch this video. Ooh, is that twerk de soleil? Ooh, Jay. <laughs> See, boy, I bet you go to jury duty if they had strippers there. I'd go to hell if they had strippers. Look, look, man, it's not a twerk video. It's the Carolina Reaper Challenge. Oh, I know all about that. You what? do? Oh, yeah, I used to date a woman named Carolina. Let me just say, she was a soul snatcher. No, no, man, the, the Carolina Reaper's the hottest pepper in the world, and people are trying to eat it. Look at her face. Redder than the devil with a sunburn. <laughs> That's what's trending now? Yeah. Trend every damn thing, like vaping. Whatever happened to smoking a stogie and dying at 35? Or get flicks and chill. Or get a job at work. Right. These trends out here now are so stupid. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid, Smitty. Why don't you give it a try? Unless you scurve. Are you challenging my manhood, Kenny? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll just be over here. Leading oh, no. my razor. Oh, what is this called? A Carolina Reaper. Yes, sir. <laughs> that that don't even look hot. Get him. Get him. <laughs> oh. I don't think you should have probably took that much. It tastes kind of sweet. Thank you. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> sweet. <laughs> This time, the new sandwich I have on the menu got people going bananas. See, I see. see. Look at this line. I mean, you, know, you got people from all over in here. I sure do. I just had to kick out a set of Siamese twins because they arguing about who going to be next in what? line. <laughs> and her right there, huh. she's supposed to get married 30 minutes ago. Oh, well, damn. You left your guy at the altar? I'm going to bring him a sandwich back. Damn. I have broken up some marriages in my time, but I never thought my food would. Yes. Let me get y'all three oh, orders. Oh, excuse, yes, me. Nice. Me. excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh. Oh, hey, hey. Yo, that, that hand doesn't look so good, Jay. Hey, yeah. you gonna be able to cut hair like that? You know what? I think I'm gonna have to find a replacement. Well, Jay, as your best friend, I take good care of your regulars for you. Or you can pay me back for all the missed birthdays you missed and 30 some odd birthdays, and let me take over your regulars, huh? Don't so let Kenny cut your regulars unless you want them looking irregular. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> the, the, the last time Smitty did a lineup, he was being ID'd out of one. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't stalking that old lady. I went to the senior home to get some push. Okay. Oh, they all right, I'm gonna get push. Hey, hey, hey. All right, all right, hey, hey, hey. All right, all right. stop. All right, uh, you, you're both overbooked, all right? So I'm just gonna have to find somebody to fill in. Uh, the problem is, I don't know where I'm gonna find somebody at this last minute. But, yeah. but you know they got an app for that. An app? Yeah. I was just gonna go through the Yellow Pages. The Yellow Pages? Yeah. How I... old is the barber you trying to find in the Yellow Pages? I mean, did he do his liners with a chisel and a hammer or something? Okay, all right, all right, fine. I will use the app. Yeah. This, uh, watch, watch, show me. Hmm. It's called the Don't Fade Me Bro app. See, what you wanna do is you wanna find somebody with like five stars and good reviews. All right, yeah, uh, how about Dylan Ray Dunlap? Ooh. Dylan Ray Dunlap? Hell no. Sound like he got enough white privilege for a presidential pardon. Uh, all right, well, uh, Jordan Banks. Oh. Look, yeah, uh, he's got uh, five clippers. That's like five stars. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, no, he'll work. Oh, yeah. He'll work. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Back up, back up, beast. Back up. Oh, hey, hey, hey. 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 
guys. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looks good. Oh, this is, okay, I'll take this. All right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Damn, Mabel. You know, if, if black girl magic had a taste, I mean, this would be it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be it. What mm. you put in this, Mabel? Deep fried crack? Mm. This is amazing. Yeah. You made this. Hell yeah. And if you really like it, I'll give you two free sandwiches after every shift if you could help me out with these crazy customers. Come Listen, on, Jay. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to cut with this hand, and I don't know how much help I'm going to be to you, but I'll tell you what. If what? you uh, you pay me in advance for this one, well, we'll, we'll see how it goes. You want to keep that other hand bandageless? <laughs> then you better act like you know. Why are you all Man, Mabel, you, you really put your foot in this one. Make a brother want to sing. Sing a song about your feet. Yeah. Toe jam. Toe jam. I think I taste a toenail, but it's still good. All we gonna sing is toe jam. Hey, the sandwiches are killing the game. And look at all these greasy little fools around here. Yeah, lie so long, I had to register people to vote. See, that's how you do it, sweetie. That's how you make a difference. Yeah, with all that grassroots support, I had to take a poll. It's a bunch of women want to be on the Smitty Committee. <laughs> Smitty, now I know your ass ain't trying to wine and dine all them women. Nope, just wine. <laughs> Look, I don't mind buying dinner for a woman long as my dessert is for free. But I like keeping my options open. That's why I ain't stuck being a fool like Kim. <laughs> that ain't why you single, Smitty. You single because you snore and smell like a bear. <laughs> That ain't funny, Kitty. It's a serious medical condition, like your athlete's feet. <laughs> ain't that bad. Hey, I hope I didn't kill the fun. I'm just trying to see if I'm in the right place. Well, if you're looking for the love of your life, yes. Yes, you are. Well, Smitty, man, she better than a middle child of a single mother working two jobs. She ain't here to see you. You know, you're probably here for the salon. That's, uh, that's next door. Uh, no, I'm looking for Jay's Chop Shop. Oh, well, this is Jay's Chop Shop. You trying to make an appointment for your son? Or maybe you quit your man, want to cut your hair off and get a fresh start. <laughs> no, I'm the new Barbara J. Hire. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you, you're Jordan? No, I'm Jay's old daughter. Really? Yes, I'm Jordan. Oh, nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's really nice to meet you. Uh, nice to I'm meet you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're Jordan, huh? Is there a problem? Oh, no, ain't no problems here. This is a professional, progressive, safe, and toxic masculinity-free zone. Yes. Well, that's reassuring. Um... Smitty. Big Smitty. <laughs> Witty Smitty. Nitty gritty Smitty. <laughs> Smitty. Uh, and you are... Oh, uh, and, and I'm Kenny, but, you know, I, I have a serious girlfriend, so... You... I guess there is someone for everyone. Mm. Hey, y'all keep on snickering. You're gonna end up with more patches in a Boy Scout uniform. All right. Hey, did y'all hear the one where the, uh... Never mind. Never mind. You know what? Did y'all see the video with the big girl going down the water slide and all of a sudden out popped her big old titillating personality? She's a beautiful girl. Really smart. Very funny. So what were y'all talking about before I came in? Uh... Taxes. Taxes. Yeah. Right, Kim? Yeah, yeah, taxes. yeah. Tax, taxes, you know, because, you know, it gets it's kind of tricky, you know, doing your taxes as a barber. So if you need any help, you know, just, just come holler at your boy. She don't need your help, Kenny. This is a strong, smart, independent woman. Don't need no man. Hey, you guys don't have to talk to me any different than any of the guys. I don't want things to be awkward. I worked in barber shops before. I know what kind of talk goes out. You have? Yeah. For years. Until the shop owner told me if I don't pay to play, he was going to fire me. So I left. Damn, like that? Yeah, just like that. Left my chair, left my clients, and had to start from scratch. And that's why I joined the Don't Thank Me Bro app. Damn. Oh, so strong. So brave. <laughs> Peter, come over and sit in that chair. Hurry up, come on, hurry up, sit in that chair. <laughs> Peter's one of my customers, but I let you cut him up just to get you started. <laughs> oh, thank you, Smitty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, Daryl, man, you know, after he's done, man, let her cut you up, man. Let's help the lady out. Thank you. Yeah. See, I knew I had a good feeling about this place. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go grab the rest of my things. Right on. All right. Okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> Taxes, Smitty? What the hell made you say that? I don't know. I panicked. Plus, I was trying to hide my adjusted gross income. <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> 
everyone, please, uh, calm down. Mabel will get everyone their sandwiches, as promised. Uh, they're just a little backed up. That's <laughs> This line is what's backed up. I've been waiting for two hours. <laughs> you better back up before you wind up in the hospital waiting room. Reggie, what is the damn hold up? <laughs> What? Hold on, Reggie. I, I cut that class. Please, English. No more meats. What do you mean? What? No more meats. I ordered 200 pounds yes. yesterday. No importa si hubiera ordenado mil libras de carne. English. No more pounds. Oh, yeah. Jay, Ouch. would you tell the people uh, that we out of meat? Uh, you. Please. You. Please. Yeah, yeah everybody. Everybody. Oh, please. Guys, man, stop. Stop. Stop, stop, okay. Uh, listen, I know you've been waiting for a long time, all right? Yeah. Um, and, and unfortunately, uh, <laughs> we're out of meat. <laughs> what? Let's go! Okay, hey! I waited in line for two hours. I, I know, I Got know. Got fired from a job, my wife found out and left me. Now you out of meat? Oh, you need to get your priorities together, homie. Yeah, we out of meat. To hell with that. I'll make my own damn sandwich. Oh, no, you won't let me make Mabel, Mabel, Mabel. Calm down. Ah, See, this how I started the L.A. riots. Okay. We ran out of food. All right, stop, stop, stop. Rodney had never left. Hey, Mabel, Mabel. There's been no problem. <laughs> you just got out of roll. <sighs> OK. Yeah, we out of meats. But I can make you my famous possum pot pie. Oh, damn. Doesn't that sound delicious? <laughs> really was looking for a sandwich myself. It was the only thing that was making my hand feel better. Are you crying? <laughs> no. Sweetie, did Thicky Ricardo just give her a hundred dollar bill? Yeah, she got more customers than Nino Brown. Next. Hey, uh, uh, Chris Tucker, Jackie Chan, ain't no need to fight when Smitty's chair is open. Man, look, I've only had a few customers these past few days. I know the feeling. My clip is getting less action than an 80 year old stripper. Oh, Stan, my man. Hey, brother, you a little early, but I can cut you hey, right hold, now. Hold, Nobody's can, can, in my I'm chair. I'm sorry, man, I'm, I'm here to see Jordan. Jordan? Actually, I'm about to take a break. So if you're in a rush, you should go see Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm good waiting. Oh, 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 it's like that? It's like that, Stan? You gonna cheat on me behind my back, in my face? You don't mind waiting, do you? Oh. I couldn't have done this without <laughs> Yo, you. Yo, you believe she made all that today? That's, that's more than we make combined. Yeah, we gonna have to do something about her. I get evicted tomorrow. How am I gonna pay my rent? I mean, you don't even pay your rent. So, I'm still mad. Look, man, I was cool with giving up all the guy talk around her, but now she's taking our customers? So, can I give you guys this coupon, or do I gotta wait till she gets back? Coupon? When we start using coupons? Well, never, man. Let me see this. Oh, this is how she's been stealing our customers. Hey, any of you fellas got a coupon? Excuse mm. me. I forgot my slow hour stash. Hey, <laughs> uh. Hey, Jordan, uh, uh, Smitty and I got a question. Um, what's up with the coupon? Yeah. How else was I supposed to drum up new business? Uh, th that's not how we do things around here. We're family. I mean, we, we lent you customers to get you started, but you're supposed to give them back, not give them 20% off. Yeah. It's just business. Oh. She who hustles hardest, hustles best. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is my language too brash for you? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we gotta do something, man. She's just stealing all our customers, man. We need a plan. Yeah. Is that all you got? Yeah. You all right, Jay? <laughs> it was like the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> I, I thought we were being robbed. Nah, if we was being robbed, be a lot more bodies around. <laughs> <sighs> I was in over my head with these sandwiches. Yo. <laughs> I mean, it was exciting at first, and then next thing you know, I'm the Pablo Escobar of sandwiches. Well, it could have been worse. They could hate your food. But, but that's, this is a good thing. A good thing? Yeah. Grown men were crying. Real <laughs> tears filled with <laughs> sorrow and shame. Well, listen, Mabel, your chicken sandwich was the best chicken sandwich I ever had. Chicken? Chicken. You can get chicken anywhere. 
That wasn't chicken. <laughs> if, it, if it wasn't chicken, what, what was it? That was free-range Arctic penguin meat. Mm. You still hungry? We got some flippers and some wings. A penguin? Oh, Mabel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you want some fried penguin wings or not, Jay? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, give me some deep fried penguin wings. <laughs> Reggie, let me get an order of fried penguin wings. No tenemos alas, tenemos flippers. English. We don't have no wings, we got flippers. OK, give me an order of fried flippers. Two fried flippers coming out, mommy. Mabel, where did you get your new chef from? Well, I was on an exotic food tasting in Uganda looking for new recipes, uh -huh. and I met him there. Oh, he's kind of an interesting character. He is. Before he was a chef, he was a poacher. But he got his behind kick what? trying to take a baby calf from the mama giraffe. <laughs> well, he's lucky to be alive. I know, but he just can't get enough of them giraffe neck bones. He's not the baby. Oh, right. Oh. You remember the plan? Oh, yeah. I took her smocks and all her neck tissue stuff and I hid it up on the roof. She'd never find it. All right, man, I hid her clipper, so there's no way she's cutting anybody today. <laughs> hey, guys, have you seen my smock or my neck cloths? Oh, no, no, Jordan, I, I haven't seen that. I ain't seen nothing all day. I don't even see my clippers. Damn. Smitty, can I use yours? Okay. Smitty, man. What? Smitty, man, what are you doing? Well, I just panicked. When she asked me, I saw a damsel in distress. A damsel? Distress? Man, we the ones under the damn stress. Well, if you would have just gone over to your place, right? If you would have made a place, what was that? Oh! I already been through one riot. Uh, now, what, what's going on here? And who the hell is that? That's Jordan. That's the barber you hired. Stop. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, damn is right. Don't let the perfect skin fool you, Jay. She is a foxy wolf in sheep's clothing. This nice woman? Oh, stop it, Smitty. Yeah, um, hey. <laughs> how's, uh, how's the shop treating you? Oh, the shop is great, and the guys, you know, they showed me the ropes, and oh. they shared their customers with me. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah share all of it. Stole our customers, Jay. Uh, am I missing something? Is, is there a problem? She been undercutting us, Jay. She giving out 20% off coupons, half off on referrals. Layway plans for man weaves. What? And since she a woman, I can't fight her. <laughs> yeah, okay, calm down, Smitty. Yeah, um, yeah, Jordan, is what they're saying true? Yeah, everything they're saying is true. Uh, <laughs> yeah, listen, Jordan, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to lay you off. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, not because you didn't follow any rules, it's because my hand is healed enough now to get back to work. No, I get it. I guess the barbershop will always be a boys only club. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's not what you think. I, I would hire you in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah, the entrepreneurship that you displayed, I, well, it reminded me a lot of myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just wish that uh, every barber was that resourceful. <laughs> so, um, I gotta keep them. Uh, this one's my son and the big one. Well, he's been my best friend, well, forever. So you guys are like family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, since there's not another station here open, um, I'll talk to my, my wife and see if there's a chair at her salon. Oh. And you can exude that same hustle over there to build your clientele. So what do you think about that? I think that sounds great. Yeah, all right. So you own the salon too? Uh, yep, the whole strip. And oh. uh, you keep working the way you are, and you will too. <laughs> and I, I do have to tell you, though, my wife, she don't play that. <laughs> so you're, you're going to have to learn to be a team player. My bad, guys. I'm still learning. I didn't mean to take all your customers. Hey, uh... And I, I apologize for not treating you like a regular barber. You got some skills. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sorry too, George. Also, Kenny took all your stuff and put it up on the roof. I go get it for you. you what? Know. I, 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 would, I, would I would never do wow. anything like that. No, I know. I want you better. Damn, Mabel, it's messier than the reality star's love life up in here. <laughs> yeah, <that's> real. <laughs>
I know, this might be one of the craziest times in my life. Now, mind you, I'm the one who switched out the glove for OJ in court. <laughs> okay, so, so what's next at, at Mabel's Tables, huh? Right. Oh, yeah, I'm on to something else. Reggie, bring me those sandwiches. Oh, okay. I'll be in it. New we spicy sandwiches. Yes. All <laughs> right, that is the new spicy sauteed beaver tail sandwich. Mm. That's the hot kangaroo bin. What's this one? What's and it? this one is the Sidewinder snake slider. All right. So taste them and let me know which one is the one. <clears throat> Whew, Mabel, this definitely got some heat in it. Oh, God. Mm. I never tasted anything like this. What else is in this? Worcestershire sauce, Cayenne pepper and Carolina ghost pepper. Oh, ghost pepper. <laughs> wow, Smitty, I'm impressed that you could handle that heat. Oh. Um, I don't know if it's the beaver or the tail, but something making my tongue wiggle. Here you go, sir, your armadillo ankle suit. And I'm so sorry about the way. This isn't what I ordered. You sure? Yeah. yeah. I ordered the gorilla knuckle casserole. I mean, come on. This is the third time you done messed up my order, old lady. You better chill out, bruh. I'm gonna get your little casserole, but you keep talking smack, the knuckles gonna be sold separately. <laughs> Hey, Mabel. Hey, Jay, how you doing? Yeah. I'll be with you in a second. Okay. <laughs> what can I get you, Jay? I sure hope you know what you want. Yeah, well, I was thinking of the uh, Bronco Bicep Bowl. Yeah, well, well, things are doing really well here, huh? Too damn well. It's what? been like this all week, and it's wearing me out. <laughs> you know I ain't turned down nothing but my collar, and I will chase a dollar. <laughs> well, maybe it's time you get some help around here. I don't know. I don't like relying on people. Mm. You know, they say, if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. Uh, yeah, but the, at the same time, you know, a little extra help, like a, another waitress, it could make your life easier. Uh, a couple mm -hmm. of extra hands could help. See? Did your luck get better when you hired Smitty? No, it got worse. Yeah, it got worse when I met him, too. Let me put your order in. <laughs> Thank you, Mabel. What? Don't you see your food up there? Man up and get it. Black people, we one answer away from a hundred large. Sweet potato pie. That's incorrect. The correct answer is pumpkin pie. Oh, come on, Johnsons. You know when they said they surveyed a hundred people, they didn't mean your people. <laughs> come on. Hey. Oh, hey, Kenny. If you came over to watch family beef, you're too late. Black family already lost, courtesy of cousin Jerome. Oh, well, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, man, but I didn't come to watch the show. I came by to give you some good news. What, Betty White got butt implants and back on dating scene? What? No, man. Ugh, I hope not. Look, man, I came by to tell you that you are looking at the new on-site superintendent of our building. Wow, that's great. So what kind of superpowers you got now? I always wanted to be able to read mine so I could figure out who was farting in public. Oh. Now, well, noble of you, but, but no, Smitty, look, the superintendent means that I manage our building. I got the call this morning, and they said due to my reputation in the building, that I was a perfect candidate. Oh, that's great, Kenny. Ooh. <laughs> now that my man Kenny is the new sheriff in town, I'm untouchable. I can blast music all night long. No, 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 not, not, not quite, Smitty, look, and, and I already got a complaint about that. Oh, come on, Kenny Marvin Gaye never hurt anybody. In fact, he was a well-known healer. Okay, well, look, just do me a favor, just, just keep it down, all right? And also, uh... Miss Thompson down the hall says she heard some pig noises come from your apartment. You ain't got no pot belly pig up in here, do you? No, I got a full-grown boy. What? And he's tearing that bathroom up. Like, and you can't have regular pets up in here, let alone the kind you find on the black market. Yeah, they got a market that caters to my people. You expect me not to shop there? 
Anyway, how come Miss Davis can have a pet and I can't have a pet? That's a support dog, Smitty. That's different. Well, that's a support boy. And one day he gonna support my bacon habit. Oh, come on, Smitty. It doesn't work that way, bro. It does if you like pork butt. Look, Smitty, look. Just, just pay your rent on time. Time is an ephemeral thing, Kenny. I mean, on the East Coast, it's three hours ahead, but in China, it's 15 hours behind. Now me, I'm on SST, which is Smitty Standard Time. And on Smitty Standard Time, it says that my rent is not due for another two weeks. Okay, look, Smitty, I'm serious, man. You got until tomorrow and no later, or, or you're gonna have to move to a different time zone. Chitlins is firing up. All right, that's enough. You don't call us, and we'll never call you. <laughs> Six interviews and not one good candidate. Let's see who's next here. Latoya Brown worked six consecutive downtown deep fried derbies. Oh, impressive. Latoya, come on in. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. It's Latoya Brown's turn. If you could go back out and wait right there, I'll be right out. That's me. I'm Latoya Brown. It's so nice to meet you, Miss Mabel. Ah, uh, well, I would have never guessed. I ain't gonna lie. When I saw the name Latoya, I was expecting someone of Wakandan descent. <laughs> oh, no worries. That's why they say you can't judge a book by its pages. Ah, uh, I think you mean cover, but sure. So tell me a little bit about yourself, Latoya. Well, I like long walks on the beach and scary movies. Oh, but not too scary. Not the kind that need to make you watch an animated movie before you go to bed. Not those. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Let me rephrase that question. So what makes you think you'd be a good fit here at Mabel's? Well, as you can see on my resume, I've worked downtown deep fried derby for the past six years, uh, which is the biggest food expo in the city. I did see that. Yes. Oh, I haven't been there in so long. Is Six Toad Sherman and his wife still running things? Yeah, they're great. Well, I think it's settled. I got the job? Hell no. It's settled that you a damn liar. Six Toad Sherman died in 1986 and he didn't have no damn wife. Get your lying ass on out of here. Please? I'm sorry I lied about my name and resume. My real name is Karen. But I'm a proud mother to a poodle. I learn really fast, but I can't say the alphabet backwards. Please don't judge me. Karen, huh? Yeah, that looks about right. Look. I don't work with people I can't trust, and liars are those people. But I'm not a liar. Okay, I know I just lied, but I only did that because I really need this job. I've been applying all over the city and haven't had any luck. Well, that sounds just about right. Folks around here ain't too fond of the white girl who called woke. Oh, no, that's not it. I really don't know what woke means. It's just I've been putting Karen on every application, and managers haven't been calling me back in, so I thought I'd try something new. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. You know, I told you I've been working on myself, big homie. This one's for you. Now, let's get one thing straight from the jump. I don't normally deal with liars, thieves, or people who don't like the OJs. Oh, I don't believe he did it. <laughs> That's not what I meant, but never mind. I got to respect you for switching it up to get your house alone. So, why don't you be here at 8 o'clock in the morning? Oh, thank you, Mabel! Oh, oh, Karen, I don't know you like that, girl. How about you get here at 7 o'clock? Because it looks like there's more than the menu you need to learn. I'm so sorry, Mabel. But I appreciate this, and I will not let you down. I am so excited. I will be here at 6.30. I won't. <laughs> Kenny's son, I'm telling you, my cartoons growing up were just better. That's all it was. You know what? You might be right, because I used to watch Homeboys and Outer Space, but of course you wouldn't know that, because Mom was the only one around at the time. All right, wait a minute. First of all, Homeboys from Outer Space was not a cartoon. Yeah. And secondly, son, you just got to let that go, oh, all man. right? Anyway, how's the uh, superintendent thing working out? Oh, it's great. You know, I get to live rent-free. I get half off of everything in the vending machine, and uh, the tenants make you feel... Uh, Pretty important. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. That's great. I'm glad to see that this new responsibility thing is paying off. Yeah, man. Speaking of paying off, I gotta go pay the water bill. Okay. 
<laughs> Schmitty! Hey, hey, Kenny. Just had to stop by and get my smock, because I'm going to go see Mrs. Jones tonight. You know she be <laughs> cutting up. Uh, Smitty, do you happen to have that rent we were talking about the other day? Because you know you like six months behind. That? Yeah. Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to get you that. OK. It's just okay. I'm a little broke right now. A little broke? Well, can I at least get the 20 you owe me? Oh, yeah. Man, broke? Man, look, he just robbed a collection plate, man. What you talking about? Oh, this ain't rent. This is my donation to the education fund at the Boom Boom Room. <laughs> Smitty, look, man, when exactly are you going to pay your rent? Soon as I double up my money at the track. Come on, Smitty, you got to pay your rent, man. Look, I know we're friends and stuff, but I still got a job to do. <laughs> what? Kitty, I'm going to get you your little rent money tomorrow. Right now, I'm heading down to the track, and I'm going to hit that double up. And then I'm going to get my Billy Paul on and go see Mrs. You know the rest. <laughs> 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 Having a little trouble getting Smitty to pay rent? You have no idea. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I'm trying to get Smitty to pay his booth rent on time is a never-ending challenge. So, so what should I do? Well, you got to do what's best. I mean, that's what being a man is all about. Excuse me, if I had a dad to teach me, that would be going through Oh, let saying. it go. So, so free. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'll be right with you to take your order. Did you? I'm so sorry. We will get that right to. Yes, of course. One second. Is it always this busy? Not really. I've never seen it like this. Oh, wow. That is really weird. Of course it's like this, Karen. This is the lunch rush, the hour that separates the big dogs from the kibble feeders. Now, you've got to be hungry out there. Go out there and eat. Oh, thank you, Mabel. I needed a break. Uh, you better not. My daddy worked 60 years on the railroad before he took a break. Excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Can I get my food? Uh, I've been waiting over 20 minutes now. Come yes, on. of course. I'll be right with you all. Uh, uh, here you go. Thank you. Thank you it's for your patience. Yeah. Here. Ooh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Are you okay? Do you need water or, or something? You! Did you, you should try to kill me! Is everything okay over here? Yes. I, absolutely not. Karen, the killer over here, tried to kill me by putting peanuts in my food. I, you didn't say anything about peanuts. I, I, I told wanted... you I was allergic. Oh, oh my God. My, my, my throat's swelling. Oh my God. I think I need to strike out of me. I see the white lights. I see the white lights. Oh, no, 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 oh, brother. Don't go to the white lights. Stay oh, away from the white light. That's the police, oh, baby. You know, you know what? I'm going to sue you. It's a tired place. Well, let's keep calm and... and, and Karen, and, look, and... you've done enough. Now, I took a chance on you, and you've wasted no time in making me regret it. Sir, I think we can handle this if you just give me one second. But, Mabel, I... Karen, I don't want to hear it. Leave me no choice. You're fired. And that's just what it is. Mm. Yeah. Give me some, give me some, give me some. Ah! <laughs> Baby! Woo! That's hot. Yeah, I like that. Hold, hold on, ladies, hold on, hold on. What's the password? Password? What do you want to stand for? Ladies, keep the party going. I'll be right back. Come on in, hey, Kenny. Hey, yeah. Hey, uh, how, how y'all doing? <laughs> Why do you look like a Dominican bodybuilder, man? What you got going on here? <laughs> Ain't nothing going on, Kenny. I'm just having a little bit of fun, hanging out here with the finest ladies this side of 1963. Looks <laughs> like Life After Figueroa documentary, man. Hey, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? <sighs> Lady, excuse me just a second. The manager wants to talk to me. I think he wants to turn this into the penthouse. <laughs> 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 What's going on, Kenny? Look, Smitty, man, I'm still getting complaints from the neighbors about, about you and the noise, man. Oh, Kenny, you ain't got to worry about that now. I'm just having a little fun. Kenny, you the boss now. You in charge. We can do whatever we want. You my inside man. Hey, look, Smitty, it doesn't work that way, man. Look, I can look out for you, but, but you're doing too damn much. And the, the, the guy below you said there's water leaking into his living room? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Listen, I wanted to put in a hot tub, but I couldn't afford the one I wanted, so I turned my tub into a hot tub. A hot tub, Smitty? Really? Well, yeah. You see, Linda's a tall one. She wanted to do a hot tub, but we didn't have one in the building, Mr. Superintendent. So I just had to make it happen. <laughs> Why are you worried about hot tubs when you still haven't paid your rent? Oh, uh, Kenny, come on now. I told you I'm gonna get that to you when I get that to you. <laughs> okay, okay, well, look, look. I I'm not leaving until I get the rent, Smitty. Oh, it's like that now, huh? Yeah. All right, well, I ain't got it. Well, you better get it or you can't stay here no more. Oh, it's like that? <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Okay, all right. Well, what you gonna do if I don't? <laughs> you have to go get it. Hey, it's equal rights. A woman can do anything a man can do. All right, fine, I'll go get it. Somebody better be dead knocking on my door this late. What the hell? The boy threw me out. And put a shirt on. <laughs> You're a failure as a daddy. <laughs> Man, did y'all see that game last night? Man, Lyle Luzma put on a show. You know, I, I think him and A.B.'s brow alone will take us straight to the championship. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, would you please tell Kenny that I don't need his razor anymore? I got my own. C can't you tell him yourself? <laughs> I am no longer speaking to Kenneth. Good, because I ain't speaking to you either. Well, that's good, because I don't want to talk to nobody that switch up on their friends as soon as they get a little power. Oh, oh, don't even start with that, Smitty. You the one started it. What you gonna do, kick me out the barbershop? <laughs> you gonna evict me from the barbershop? Hey, stop, stop. Hey, wait. <laughs> I had a tough enough time last night when you were begging on my door. Now, you two need to fix this. Ain't nothing to fix. Kidding them sold out to the man. Hey, you know what? Look, he doesn't respect me. And, and if he can't respect me, we, we have nothing to talk about. It sounds like neither one of you are hearing each other. Now, Smitty, you sound upset that he evicted you. Yeah, Jay, he put me out into the cold streets. And then I had to get out there and fight and scrape just to be able to get what I had to get for me and mine. Smitty, you came straight to my house. <laughs> well, still, Jay, that was my worst walk of shame ever. I bust Mabel's with no clothes, no money, and no pride. Oh, TMI, Smitty. Look, Jay, I gave him extra time to pay his rent, and he still did nothing. Okay, uh, all right. Do you hear yourselves? You're acting like you, you've never been friends. <laughs> all right, now, here, this is what I say do. Okay, Kenny, you let Smitty move back into his place. Yes! Yeah, however, Smitty, you need to give him half of your tips until you're caught up with rent. Now, does that sound fair? That, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. 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 I'm sorry, Kenny. I got a little excited, and I took advantage. And I'll get rid of the petting zoo. Hey, it's OK, Smitty. Look, I'm sorry, too. Petting zoo? Hey, man, you, you just make sure you get rid of that wild-ass boar. Oh, he gone already. I put him on a flight early. The moon's over my hammy. <laughs> You can't be popping up on black people like that, girl. You got a whistle or something. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <sighs> what are you doing here, Karen? I already fired you. Wait, I just need one second. I just want to apologize and make it up to you. <clears throat> <laughs> and what are you doing here looking like a newly fixed dog? I invited him. And what the hell did you do that for? Please, have a seat. Thank you. I invited Nelson here to come to a settlement outside of court. Lawyers and judges just make things complicated. Mm -hmm. And for the record, I just want to state that I do have my attorneys on standby, just in case we can't come to an agreement, okay? Whatever, snitch. What kind of agreement you talking about here? Here you go. Thank you. Well, for starters, I was thinking, um, free meals for a year. We can make that happen. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, you don't even... Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Also, I was thinking, since I'm saving you millions of dollars in damages, mm, I should get a small piece of the business. Let's just say a little, little 30%. Absolutely, that's no problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you enjoying your cake? It's all right. It's a little dry, but it's not horrible. Speaking of that, we should add Big Mama's Wing Pies to the menu. I think it'd be a hit. Mm -hmm. Sure. How are you feeling, Nelson? I'm all right. I'm probably going to have the itis later, but I'll be OK. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, yeah, I almost mm. forgot. That mm. cake is full of peanuts. What? <coughs> <laughs> what now? My throat. My throat, my throat is swelling up. I 
the lights. Oh, no, no, I no, baby. I see the lights right now. Don't even try it. I've seen better acting in the R. Kelly interview. Get your ass up out of here before I close your throat for real, for real. Okay. okay. Out! That was amazing, Karen. Oh, my God, thank you. Lord knows I don't need another case. Oh, it was not. How'd you know he didn't have an allergy to peanuts? Well, I wasn't 100% sure, but my brother has an allergy to peanuts, and I've seen what an allergic reaction looks like. His eyes didn't get puffy, he didn't get any hives. I didn't see not one hive. <laughs> it was a risk I was willing to take. Either way, um, problem solved. <laughs> I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Welcome back, Karen. <gasps> Get that girl, bring it in. <laughs> oh, whew. man, I'm stuffed. Mm, yeah, me oh, too, kidding. I'm stuffed like a taxidermy cat. <laughs> well, let's hope no one orders one of those <laughs> for numerous reasons. <laughs> Everybody good over here? Oh, yeah, yeah, we are. Um, actually, can we uh, get the check, please? Yeah, of course. Don't forget the discount. What discount? Uh, uh the, the the neighbor discount, you know, because we, we're in the, the right. same shopping center, yeah, same so we get twenty percent off. Yeah, because we yeah. all within a hundred right here, yeah. yeah. right, yeah. right there. Yes, oh. this twenty twenty. hundred foot discount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good thinking, guys. Oh, good good good. Like eating. Okay. That's so cool. I strip would mall. like to hey. officially introduce you to Karen. She's going to be working here. Oh. She is not a temp. <laughs> she is a permanent hire. Oh. So, Jay, hmm. what is it about this discount? When did that start? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, actually, uh, Kenny's the one is uh, uh, Hey, hey, may we, you know, it's just a little joke. Oh, my God. feeling all happy and giddy. You're going to pay double <laughs> for trying to take advantage of Karen. Break yourself, fools. <laughs> All right? You got it. You got it. So you got it. <laughs> Move your damn feet. Miss Mabel, take it easy. What's gotten into you? I'm trying to clean this pig sty. What are you talking about? I don't see any pigs in here. I'm talking about this mess. Does this look clean to you? Uh, yes. It look clean to me, but it won't look clean to Ruby. Who's Ruby? Ruby is my sister, and she's coming to visit. Aw, that's so nice. No, ah, uh, it's a nightmare. That's why we're doing this deep cleaning. This heifer would vacuum the desert. Oh, is she some sort of germaphobe? Worse than that, she's a bougie snob who went to an Ivy League school. Now she's some fancy lawyer. Ooh. Ain't never spent a night in prison. No. And she thinks she better than me. Well, I think you shouldn't care what she thinks. You want to know what I think? Yeah. I think you should get your behind in that bathroom and clean it so spotless that our customers could eat out the toilet bowl. Uh, yes, Miss Mabel. Uh, Karen, oh. let me clarify. That was just a figure of speech. Better not put my food in the toilet bowl. Yes, food in toilet. Got it. So last night I'm watching TV and it was just commercial, commercial? where commercial, man, Smitty, look, you need to get on these streaming platforms, man. I haven't seen a commercial in years. Yeah, I think the last commercial I saw was that, that boneless chicken commercial where the guy thought he ate the bones. Can I just tell my story? Uh, Smitty, tell us the, your commercial story there, please. So I'm watching this commercial and it's about this uh, pregnancy test where it's a happy family because it's positive. Why don't they ever show a nervous guy relieved because the test is negative? You know, you're actually right, Smitty. The <laughs> majority of those people that take those tests, they don't want to be pregnant. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Right. That's why I keep it stocked up. Don't want no accidents around, huh, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> uh, 
Excuse me, uh, sir. Can I help you? Yeah, Percy's is two doors down. Oh, oh, no, no, thank you. I'm just enjoying the lively barbershop banter. <laughs> I'm Melvin. Melvin Chasman. Yo, oh, well, Mr. Melvin Chasman, if you just have a seat and wait, uh, I'll cut you as soon as I finish with this guy. Oh, I am not here for a haircut. <laughs> oh, yes, you are, Ray J. In fact, your one wish ought to be a shape up. <laughs> well, mean sir, I simply came here to observe. See, I am an actor. Really? Have you been to anything I've seen? It depends. Have you seen fences? With Denzel? Hell yeah. Yes, yes. Well, I was in there. I was behind those fences. <laughs> yeah, listen, uh, Melvin, is it? Um, I appreciate your enthusiasm for our profession, but uh, I think you're just going to be in the way here. <gasps> but I would be but a fly on the wall. No, 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 no. Strictly observational. Nah. I will make it worth your while. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> Three words. Huh. Starts with a C. Mm. Creative consultant credit. Yeah. Three words. What the? For, for, for example. A cop show, <laughs> they would hire police officers to tell their stories so that the show could be more believable. Yeah, yeah, you know, and I heard it comes with a nice paycheck, too. Mm hmm and possibly leads to other consulting gigs. Hmm. <laughs> you had me at nice paycheck. <laughs> Melvin, welcome to the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, hello, I'm looking for Mabel. Ruby, well, you know it's me. <laughs> You're looking more like Daddy every day, girl. And I see you've inherited his mustache. Other well, than that, you're looking alive. Oh, if you mean alive, as in younger, it's, it's, it's my skin routine. <laughs> oh, I see you still have the same drab decor. <laughs> Ruby, it is so nice to Dang, see you. Can you. Get the new curtains. Uh, Why don't you have several seats? You should just go hold me. Hey. Hello. Welcome to Mabel's Tables. Since you are our special guest, here is the house's finest wine. <laughs> oh, out of the box? Oh, I'll pass. <laughs> oh, no. This wine comes from grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, what is your name, sweetheart? Well, my name's Karen, but they call me Special K. Oh, I can see why. Well, can I get you anything to eat? No, I think I'll save my appetite for dinner. Now, can you show me to the ladies' room? You do you do have indoor plumbing in here, don't you? Well, we have a tree outside. I mean, you could always hike up your leg and do what you know. I'll show her where the tree is. There's a fire hydrant, too. Hey, Maple, why you look so down? That seat's taken, Smitty. You got a hot date? My sister Ruby's here. Ruby's here? I never did get to meet her. Well, don't be so excited. She's Satan's mistress. Hey, Ruby, I have heard so much about you. I'm Smitty. I've had absolutely nothing about you. Well, I hear you're a lawyer. Come on in here and have a seat, girl. <laughs> I've got a legal question for you. Can a person sue themselves? You, you want to sue yourself? Well, if somebody hurts you, you can sue them, right? Well, what if you hurt yourself? <laughs> Mabel, why didn't you tell me you had such a charming friend? Well, maybe we ought to sue her for not introducing us earlier. <laughs> Has something to do? Cut some hair or lawn or something? Well, what do you mean, something to do? I just got here. I didn't even order yet. <laughs> You're going to eat this slop? <laughs> Ooh, Mabel, you made sloppy joes? Nah, I know I'm staying. I do not make slop. I create urban delicacies. If you like it so much, or maybe you'd like to join Mabel Life for dinner tonight. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a sister's dinner. Dinner, <laughs> but sisters and, 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 and Smitty. <laughs> yeah. Sisters and Smitty, Mabel. <laughs> <laughs> And 
and then that's why Aunt Lee can no longer have dairy before we go to bed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad, it's bad, bro, it's bad. <laughs> what is this apparatus you are using right now? The hell is the apparatus? These are my scissors. <gasps> Scissors, scissors. And do these scissors, per se, give you an emotional attachment? Uh, Kindergarten, uh, do these scissors remind you of when you used to cut construction paper? No. <laughs> I, I see the hair, I want to cut them, and I cut them. Uh, you know what? My kindergarten teacher, Miss Jenkins, always said never run around with scissors. And my mother never taught me that either. You know, she was always working, busy, and stuff like that. And my dad, that dude, I mean, he was never there. Shut up. <laughs> no, no, I am the creative consultant here, right? No, it's okay, it's okay, Jay. This is, this is great stuff, great stuff. <gasps> what is that? A razor. A razor? Yes. <laughs> what does it feel like to wield such a powerful instrument of weaponry? So close to your client's face. Do you feel the power? The power of being able to take a man's life? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, man. You are freaking out my customer. I do not care about how he feels. I care about how you feel. Yeah, I feel like putting my foot up here. Yeah. I'm annoyed. Annoyed that you won't shut up and let me do my work. Fine, I will be silent. I will Thank simply you. sit here and observe your physicalities. <laughs> what? Are you crazy, man? You know what, you're right. I am way too focused on your workplace. I need to go to your home. Oh. See how you live, how you sleep, how you shower, how you pee. Do you shake once or twice? Yo! Hey, 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 hey. look. <laughs> I am not uh, here for your weird fetishes. <laughs> and you are not gonna watch me sleep. Fine. Let's just get another consultant who wants a hit TV show where he get paid a check every week. All right, fine. Hmm. Fine, you, you can come over for a bit, but uh, you're not watching me sleep. No shower? No, no. Hey, look, 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 hey, if Jay is being such a grouse man, I can teach you the ropes right over here. Oh, look, oh. look, you got your clippers right here. Oh, you, no. you got your disinfectants, your, your hair sheen, you ah. know? No offense, brother, but you are far too young and optimistic, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for me to use you. I need an old, foggy, jaded barber that I could dive into his mind. I am not that old. I love the way your forehead flip flop flips over when you're angry. I shall use that. Mm. I shall. I shall use that. Next. <gasps> Can I? Can I, Jay? I... I can do this. Yeah. Hell no. Oh. You are not licensed. Jeez. Oh, When's the last time you taught anybody anything? I, I mean, it's not like you used to be a professor back in the day. <laughs> okay. And so then, I tried to figure out where that horrible smell was coming from, and then I realized I forgot to take my garbage out of my kitchen for the third week in a row. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> So funny. <laughs> Smitty, you better slow down on that bread before you choke yourself. As a matter of fact, keep eating. Go ahead. Put some more in your mouth. Well, think about it, Mabel. They always overcharge for the food to drink. So if I eat enough baskets of bread, it's like I'm making money. <laughs> so I own the restaurant. So what you saying? You you trying to take money from me? No, no, I, I didn't mean it like listen, that. Listen, listen. Dinner's on me tonight. No need to fill up on bread. You know, I'm almost partner at my law firm. I think I can afford it. <laughs> uh, so, you're not partner yet. I own my restaurant, therefore dinner's on me. Isn't that so cute? Smitty, what is it you do? Well, I'm a barber, which is actually very similar to being a lawyer. Really? How so? Well, the client comes into my barber shop, the courtroom, right. and he's charged with the crime of bad hair. Right, right. Then it's my job to defend him against the judgment of others. I object. <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of fool sugar to me. On what ground? I think Smitty has an incredible way of seeing the world, and he's so good with words. You're so good. <laughs> you know what? I'm out of here. Well, why, Mabel? Where, where are you going? I thought you was off the road. <laughs> you know what, Ruby? All my life I've had to fight to impress you. Oh, Miss Seely, save it with all that purple and all that. 
Nothing I do is good enough for you. Oh. Now, all of a sudden, you impressed by a simpleton like Ooh. Smitty. I can't believe it. Simpleton? Well, can we at least get some food before you go? My God. It's awful mad, obviously. Here you go. No, you didn't. No, oh, no, no you didn't. Uh, uh, no, yes, I didn't. Hold on, this was the garlic bread. Ooh, let me help you some. Oh, hey, Mabel, what you doing here? Hey, Smitty. My conscience was bothering me, and I felt so bad about what I said to you. I don't think you're a simpleton. It's just that me and my sister have been going at each other's throat all our lives, and you was just an innocent bystander. Well, I appreciate that, Mabel. But your sister already made me feel better. Oh, yeah? How'd she do that? Oh, hey, Mabel! Oh, hell no! Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not like that. Smitty, my sister? How could you? You know she got that itch you can't get rid of. Claire! Mabel, what's got you all riled up? Look like my sister got you all riled up. Now you up. hold on, Mabel. There's no, you know, what's the Hold name? on, Heffa. What? You hold on, Trollop. You hold on, Huzzy. You hold on, Stank. You hold on, Pee in the Bed. You hold on. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Both of y'all hold on. Now, Mabel, we didn't sleep together. I thought about it, but you gotta get too quick. <laughs> what happened was, you called him a simpleton. He got very sad. And I just came over to hang out with him. We had some drinks. He told some funny stories. I mean, does that bother you, Mabel? No, what bothers me, Ruby, is how you've treated me all my life like I wasn't no good. Oh, Mabel, Mabel, Mabel. You think you're so street smart, but you're, you're really so dumb. Uh, see, see right there? She called me dumb. You've always called me that when we were little. Because you, you know, you dumb. I'm not mean. I always thought you were more fun than me. Really? Thought I was more fun than you? Of course. And I'm sorry for mistreating you when we were going. Apology accepted. Oh, thank you. Now let's go out and have some fun together. I missed you so much. I wanted to call you. You can't hang it up in my face. No, that's because you be talking smack. Because you got that raggedy phone that don't never keep you See, now why can't we just go out and have fun together? You want to go out? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, my God, like, what did you have in mind? I was thinking we could hit the clubs, like the packing district. (laughs) Oh, I love that place. And you know it's $5 foot-long Friday. What? And I ain't talking about sandwiches. (laughs) Oh, man. Stop looking at me like that. I'm sorry. You want to explain once again who this person is? You know I was just playing by... I am (laughs) Melvin Chasman, thespian extraordinaire. Yeah, yeah, he's an actor who's studying me. Why he won't study you? Hey, excuse me? Yeah, I'm sitting right here. (laughs) I am Jay Weaver, damn it. I'm the most interesting man in the world. Well, the most interesting at the barbershop, anyway. (laughs) (laughs) There are many roles to be played. Hamlet, Macbeth, you so omni from Martin. (laughs) But the greatest role, by far, is that of playing an ordinary man. And I had to find an ordinary barber to dive into his brain, see him for on and off the clock antics. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> got it. <laughs> you can get inside Jay's head all you want, but there's nothing going to get into your stomach. Unfortunately, I don't have enough for you for dinner. Quite all right, my dear. I am an actor, therefore I am on a strict kale diet. <laughs> well, good luck with that. <laughs> I'm going to get washed up for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't even think about it. So, uh, what is it like being married to a barber? I don't know. It's all right. Hmm. I can imagine a man who works really well with his hands has a lot to offer, you know. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. No, that, that's none of your business. You know, you really should 
get into all aspects of a barber's lifestyle, even the intimate ones. Excuse me? What if I come back tomorrow when Jay's not here and let's uh, see how these passions really fuel the barber? The hell? <laughs> Jay! <laughs> He just made a pass at me. What? what? I'm about to make him pass away. Yeah, I'm about to pass his hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. But, 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 but the creative consulting credit. Oh, I'll take you lucky I don't whip your oh. ass credit. Oh. Right, now get your ass out of here. Get out of here. Can I get my head shot? Oh, you can get shot. Right. But that was my last one. I have an audition tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God. Did, are we supposed to sleep in the kitchen? We did. I told you that stovetop is comfortable. Mm. Okay, hold on. It's an earthquake. You... No, it's not. Is that, is that my shirt? Is that my shirt? Is that my shirt? But you got a little. You <laughs> did it. <laughs> it's 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 <laughs> Good morning. Oh, hold it down, Karen. Hold it down. Oh, oh Lord. Good morning. <laughs> Ow. You can't trust actors. Man, they are professional liars. This is what I'm saying. And why are we always giving them awards? Okay. Somebody walk in and say, hey, I'm President Lincoln. <laughs> Instead, you want to give them an award. Talk about, yeah, here go Oscar. What you ought to be saying is you a liar. <laughs> yeah, there you go, you right there. Like, oh, oh, what the oh, hell oh, are you doing? Oh, oh, you came back to get your ass whooped. No, 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 no. I, I came back to bring your check, your check, your check. <laughs> and also to apologize for the other night. I was totally out of line, and I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Right, you damn right, you. But there, there's good news. I, I, I did get the part. Hey, well, that's great, man. Congratulations. When's movie come out? Movie? No, 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 no. Commercial. Crystal clear optics. <clears throat> when customers trust me to cut their hair, there's only one pair of glasses I trust. <laughs> Crystal clear optics. Right? <laughs> 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 Look, all of that for one line. Oh, man, I could have did that. When customers trust me to cut their hair, there's only one pair of glasses I trust. Crystal clear optics. Oh, no, no, no. Kenny, you would never get put. It's more like this. When customers trust me to cut their hair, there's only one pair of glasses I trust. That's crystal clear optics. Oh, no, no, no. You gotta make, okay, it. Okay, you gotta make okay. it attractive, Jay. When customers trust me to cut their hair, mm -mm. there's only one pair of glasses I trust. Mm. Crystal clear optics. <laughs> did bet on that game. I thought you said you didn't have any money to bet. Well, I didn't. So I went to somebody who loans money to people like me for situations Smith. like mine. Brother Smith, you went to a loan shark? No, no, no. I would never go to a loan shark. They too dangerous. They'll kill you. This is more like a, a loan bear. You know, they'll keep you alive, but they'll take your arm off. Which is what they said they was going to do to my best friend if I don't pay him their money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, why am I going to lose your arm? I, I didn't make the bet. Not you, Jay. My childhood best friend, Joe. Oh, in that case, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Jay. They said they got him and they holding him and they gonna do something if I don't pay them their money back. Jay, poor Joe. What am I gonna do? Look, man, why don't you just call the police? Jay, you want me to call the police? Tell him that I borrowed money from a loan bag, participated in illegal gambling, and now since I lost the bet, now my best friend Joe's in danger of losing his arm? Hey, I got it, Smitty. Hey, why don't you donate blood? Joe don't need blood, Kenny. Joe needs money. No, no, not donate blood to Joe. Donate blood to a blood bank in exchange for money. Oh, I can't do that. I've been banned from the blood bank. Smitty, how do you get banned from a blood bank? 
Well, the last time I went, I asked the man what my blood type was. He said I'd be negative. I said I ain't being negative, but I'm positively gonna whoop yeah, your uh, ass. You don't tell Smitty. He wasn't telling you to be negative. He was telling you your blood type is B negative. Why didn't he just say that? He... <laughs> Look, I can't go home right away now. It's, it's too dangerous, but Joe still needs me to do something. Kenny, can I crash at your place for now? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, bro. You already used that card already too many times. You know, plus, man, we stay in the same building. I don't want no lone shark coming up to my crib. A bear. A lone bear. <laughs> don't yeah. even think about it. And lone whatever. Next time, get a better tip. <laughs> nah, man, you ain't staying with me, bro. All right, all right. Staying with you is a bad idea. I got it. I'll be right back. Uh, how about that rematch? Yeah? Hey, fun. <laughs> yeah. Early morning ass whoop. <laughs> Domino, take that. Take that. Okay. <laughs> you, you won again. <laughs> uh, no, one more. Okay. Well, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> I got these cheese, buddy. Oh, <laughs> man, look, come on, man. Look, 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 Jay, man, I already beat you already today, man. It, it's not even 12 o'clock yet. I, I'm done. I'm done. I, all right. I, I all need right. a challenge. I need a challenge. Yeah, fine, I can't fine. Do this no more. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe I just let you win, huh? huh? <laughs> so I could release a, a barrage of whoop ass <laughs> and, and crush your ego. Ego, please. Yeah. What's wrong? You recognize me? All you did was put on some glasses and a Steve Harvey mustache. <laughs> if that's the best you can do, you might as well say goodbye to your little friend Joe. Huh? Hmm. Jay told Cheryl, Cheryl told me. Oh, look, I really need your help this time, Mabel. Can't you call Dirty Mike and them to come handle this for me? I could let you borrow the thing behind the counter. What I'm gonna do with a cash register, Mabel? <laughs> Look, just let me stay here for a little bit, okay? At least till I figure out how to save Joe. No, you ain't bringing no drama to my place. What about that new employee of yours? Don't nobody know where she lives. She new to town. Smitty, I am not giving you that little girl's address. Oh, my goodness. And I can't believe you. Oh, well, what I do now, Mabel? Acting like a big old scaredy cat. <sighs> Look, you want me to come to the house with you and keep you safe? That'd be great, Mabel. It'd be perfect. And can you bring some of that chocolate-covered sweet potato cornbread cobbler with you? Sure it's gonna I be can. a long night. You still got them wooden things with that metal in the middle? The ones with your name burnt in? Yeah. Uh-oh, watch your step, Mabel. What? It's gonna trigger the bear trap. Come on, take two steps to the right. Damn. Now, duck! <sighs> Smitty, what the hell is this? It's my new home security system. I got the idea from this movie, Home by Myself. Here. Yeah. Help me hang these from the ceiling fan. You know the ceiling fan broke from the last time we tried to role play. I told you I was too heavy, but you didn't want to listen. <laughs> My goodness, Smitty, you have gone too far. You got toy race cars everywhere, broken Christmas ornaments by the window. My go Oh, sucky, sucky now. What is this? You remember that. Hey. That's from that time we played Mabelana Jones and the Temple of Spoon. Thought I had lost this. It's been here the whole time, Smitty. <laughs> what was that? What was that was that? a bear trap. Answer the damn door, Smitty. They here, Mabel. They found me. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to man up and face the music. Where? You know I got your back. <laughs> uh, hello, Smitty. Hello, Janelle. Janelle? Hey, girl, how you doing? <laughs> Smitty, the loan shark is your sister. <laughs> Smitty, you mean to tell me that the loan shark has been your sister this entire time? <laughs> Don't look at me like a loan shark. I'm more like more a... More like a loan bear, you yeah. know. See, I told you. Now, where's Joe? Where's my money? You know what's gonna happen to him if I don't get paid. Come on, Janelle, this your brother and his friend we're talking about. I know who it is, but I am sick and tired of him borrowing money. He been doing this since middle school. Middle school? Damn, that's a long time. Yeah, he was in the sixth grade and borrowed my lunch money. Said he had the inside tip on the playground race. Speedy J and Quick the Vic. Oh, and I'd have won that one too if Jason hadn't tripped over his own shoelaces. Smitty and it was tater tot day and 
You know how much I love tater tots? Every time I look at a tot, I get emotional. It's been that way ever since. You've been borrowing money. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, Janelle. I wasn't that bad, was I? Not that bad, Smitty. A couple of years ago, you made a bet on who had the most passes on Sunday, Kobe or the collection plate in church, and you lost. Well, how was I supposed to know the passer was going to average seven and a half collections per service for the whole season? Look, I'm sorry, Janelle. I give you your money, I promise. But please, let Joe go. I want my money. Smitty, what you can do is get in the domino tournament tomorrow night because the prize is $500. And that should just about cover it, right? Oh, yeah, that'll do it. That'll be great. But, but what if I lose? Oh, man, don't even worry about it. I got your back. I give you the money. Ah! Look, I don't care who gives me the money as long as I get paid. If I don't get my money, it's over for Joe. Understood. Mabel, thank you. I owe you. Yeah, you better not lose it. You're gonna owe me more than money. <laughs> Welcome to Mabel's first annual Domino Derby. Now, we all know we're competing for cash prizes, and good luck, and may the dominoes fall in your favor. <laughs> Domino! <laughs> Woo! First time playing, and I win. <laughs> Smitty, what the, what the hell? How you lose so quick? How you lose to Pee Wee Herman? Yeah, he kind of took me to the playhouse. I'm sorry I let you down, Mabel. Where's he going? I hope he doesn't try to run out like he did last time. He still owe me money. And I got Joe right here waiting on the exchange. Don't worry about it. It's like I told you yesterday. You get your money. Uh, excuse me. Huh? Sorry to hear that, Smitty. <laughs> hey, Mabel. Uh, oh, oh, what's the matter? You, you look upset. What, you, you mad that your ex-boo just got uh, molly in the first round? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Uh, what's wrong? You gotta promise me you won't repeat what I'm about to tell you. Uh, uh, what is it, Mabel? Tell me. Okay, so the loan shark that Smitty had mm -hmm. is his sister. <laughs> and I told her that Smitty would win the tournament and give her the winnings. And if he didn't win, I'd give her the money. Only I ain't got it, Jay. Cause China got a hold of my bank account. Damn. That's Janelle, right? Yes. Smitty sister? I thought I recognized that old evil heifer. <laughs> Don't you worry, Mabel. It's time to put my degree in dominology to work. <laughs> I got you. All right. Ten, domino, rise. Tennis shoe time. Well, that's it, folks. Our finals are set. Jay versus Kenny. Teacher versus student. Tadpole versus donor. <laughs> Let's get ready to domino! Uh, time out. What? Ain't no time out in dominoes. Uh, Look, you just stalling to avoid the inevitable. You know I'm about to win. Uh, no, no. Oh, hello, guys. Are you okay, Jay? No, I, I, I just need to uh, little, take a little breather, you know, to focus in on what we talked about. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, Kenny, you know, for somebody that just learned how to play dominoes a few days ago, you are damn good. You know, I'm doing all right. Well, what's up with Jay? Listen, Kenny, you gotta let him win. Why should I do that? This is my time to let off and release all that built-up resentment over the years. Because Smitty owes his sister Janelle some money. And Jay is gonna pay that debt with the prize money. Oh, well, he's gotta go through me to get to that. Plus, he owes me from back child support. <laughs> okay, think about it, Kenny. What is more important in life? This little domino game. Friends and family. Just think about it, baby, okay? Oh. Just give it some thought. All right. All right, Kitty. Let's finish this. This is for all the ass whippings I missed. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Yes! Domino! Domino! Yes, the dominologist prevails! Ah! <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you. Uh, first, I'd like to thank my opponent for a very good game. Secondly, I'd like to dedicate this game to my very best friend, Schmitty. <laughs> Come on, Schmitty, get on over here. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Jay. Now I can get out of debt and save my friend Joe. Oh. <clears throat> go on, give it to me, Smitty. First off, where's Joe? You get your money when I know he's safe. I got Joe right here. Oh, she, she got a gun! <laughs> Joe! Is that G.I. Joe? Well, we, I did all this for a damn doll? Jay, Joe was my best friend growing up. I couldn't let her destroy him. Here's the money I owe you. What? Plus interest. Mm-hmm. Don't try to play me out. <laughs> Thank you, Smitty. It's nice doing business with you. Wait a minute, man. We did all this for 20 funky-ass dollars? Well, that was all the money that I had to bet. I couldn't bet anymore. Tell you what, just so everybody will feel better, why don't we split this four ways? Oh, oh three ways. <laughs> Two ways. Oh, one way. <laughs> Beat it. That's one of them. Hey, Jay, man. Congratulations on your victory, man. And you know what? I, I think it's pretty cool what you, what you did for Smitty. Well, thank you, son. I think it's pretty cool that you let me win. What? Man? Look, man, you won fair and square. Boy, stop playing. I've been playing this game long enough to know that you had me beat. Well, you know, I, I couldn't take the money knowing that a friend needed it. No. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Maybe in the morning I can have a rematch and beat you uh, fair and square. Damn, Jay, ain't you tired of getting your ass whooped? You know, I'm so happy you finally let bygones be bygones and invited me out to dinner. Aren't you glad you are finally debt free? It feels amazing. Yes. And I made a vow to never, ever take a loan from anybody again. If I'm going to owe money to anybody, it's going to be to me. That's right. In fact, I'm so happy we got back together, sis. Don't you worry about this. <laughs> okay. This one's on me. Oh, aren't you so sweet? I just, woo, woo. It was good, boy. I just, thank you. Mm. Mm. You know what? <laughs> Before I pay this bill, uh -huh. I'm gonna pay the water bill. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you all right with me? <laughs> Woo! Smitty! Smitty!
Morning, gentlemen. I got a question for both of you. Yeah, no, Smitty. I will not cut your customer's hair, splitting the proceeds 70 30 your way. No, 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 not that. I just want to ask you do you believe in signs? And I don't mean like stopping yield signs, because we all know that's just another way for the man to slow us down. Oh, oh, no, no, no. OK, I got you. It's more like a science from the universe. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like an epiphany or, or divine invention. Right, Smitty? Well, I don't know about epiphany, but I did date a woman named Tiffany. And she broke up with me because I gave a ring that didn't come in a teal box. Yeah. It did turn her finger teal, though. <laughs> well, that's what you get for buying jewelry from a, a gumball dispenser. You know, Kenny, it's a funny thing that the genius gene skips a generation, and it looks like it skipped right over Jay and went to you. Oh, that's pretty funny coming from a guy who thought that Halle Berry was an herbal tea. Anyway, last night I had a dream about a very sexy woman named Vanity, and I don't want to go into all of the details, but it had a lot of mirrors involved. OK, Smitty, uh, what is the point? Well, I'm wondering if this is a sign from the universe that I should go down to the track with all my money and bet it on vanity. Yeah, uh, Smitty, as your longtime friend, uh, you've only had three good ideas. That's being my friend, working here, and finally deciding not to eat paint chips off the wall. See? So you do understand. This might be my fourth great idea. I got a gut feeling about this one, yeah, Jack. And I think you should stay off of shakethemcakes.com before bed. <laughs> and Smitty, look, I'm riding with you, man. Go with your gut. Well, let Jay deter you from what the universe has in store for you? Shoot. That's right. Jay is just a buzzkill anyway. Just like that time you tried to convince me that sniffing glue wasn't a good idea. I got some of my best ideas sniffing glue. You, you used to sniff glue? Yeah, well, it was high school. Damn. Texting got you blushing and cackling. Oh, girl, just my best friend Casey from college. She's in town, so she gonna stop by the shop sometime today. Oh, well, that's nice. Ain't it though? Girl, look, the last time I saw her, child, we was at some ABC party on campus. Ooh, and... ABC <gasps> party, what's that? Girl, it ain't my responsibility to tell you the alphabets of partying. You gotta figure that out for yourself. But <laughs> let's just say that uh, I had a little too much to drink that night and we end up sleeping together. Oh, wait a minute. Now I see. <laughs> Flag on the play. Girl, we can call that a party foul. But you know, whiskey does make me frisky, OK? But it got all weird after that, and she stopped calling. Well, uh, I'm sorry for that. But maybe she's just reaching out because she wants you back in her life again. You know what? You're right, Cheryl. That's why I'm so happy to see her. I haven't seen her in so long. I miss her, you know? She's vibrant. Casey! <laughs> Casey! Mom, wait a minute, come here, little man. Did I just hear this cute little brother call you mom? You did, Percy. I'd like to introduce you to my 10-year-old son, Chance. Wow, oh, man. Uh, that, hi, uh, Mr. Percy. Nice to meet you. Hello, Mr. Percy. Nice shirt. Yeah. It'll be really nice if that was real foaming. Uh, I know you ain't talking with them fake-ass kids. All of these hand-me-downs your mama got you dressed in. All right, now keep it cold, brother. Just kidding. Mm. I like your style, Mr. Percy. Oh, do you? So I see you got a knack for fashion, too, young man. <laughs> well, hello, Casey, hey, I'm Cheryl. Hey. Welcome to my shop. Percy's telling me so much about you. It's good to meet you. <laughs> this is my 10-year-old son, Chance. Say hello to Miss Cheryl. Hi, Miss Cheryl. Well, hello, wrapped up in cuteness. <laughs> uh, Casey, uh, would it be OK if I take this one for a snack? You guys can catch up? Absolutely. OK, mm -hmm. this way. I cannot <gasps> believe you I have a child. Look, like, all I'm saying is that real men put sugar on their grits, man. There's no two ways no, about no. it. Oh, Kenny, salt and pepper is supposed to go on grits. Maybe throw a little cheese in there, a little hot sauce, and put some shrimp on top. Kenny! Yeah. You were right. I told you, Smitty, there is no amount of toothpaste that'll fix that bad tooth, man. You need to see a dentist. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. I followed the signs. I put it all down with the universe. I reached out to it, and the universe reached back to me. <laughs> Sweetie, what in the entire hell are you talking about? I took all my money down to the racetrack, and I bet it on vanity, and I won big. Oh, what? Smitty, man, did I ever tell you the best barber I know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. shut up, Kenny. Let That's... the man explain. Well, vanity was slotted to lose, huh? right? She had had a hip replacement two days ago. One eye was falling out of her head, and she was known for stopping mid-race. But I believe. Oh, so she just smoked all the horses, huh? Well, 
was coming down to her and this horse named Bojack coming around the final turn. It looked like Bojack was going to win, but then his jockey swallowed a bee and he fell off the horse and Vanity rode off into the sunset. <laughs> yeah, dude, Smitty, I, I was wrong. I thought all your dumbass dreams was a result of all that glue sniffing. <laughs> hey, Smitty, man, I'm happy for you, man. I knew the universe would not leave you hanging. Thanks, Kitty. Thanks, Jay. And I've been thinking, now I can get my dream car. A 72 Cadillac with a diamond in the back. <gasps> I can ice out my clippers. Yeah, uh, yeah, Smitty. Look, you gotta be smart about your money, man, or, or you're gonna be broke again. You're absolutely right, Jay. Yeah, Smitty, you're supposed to invest your money so your money works for you. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, look, Smitty, I know the money is burning a hole in your pocket, but you gotta really sit down and think about what it is you wanna invest. But before you do, <laughs> you owe me booth rent. Not now, Jay. I'm thinking about assets, not liabilities. Yeah, but... So enough about college. Tell me about you. What's going on, girl? <sighs> Man, where do I start? Um, so I got remarried and I decided to go back to school. Wow, you look good, and I'm so proud of you. Raising your son, looking wonderful, get snatched. Uh, but uh, rewind, tell me about this remarriage. <laughs> Child, he wanted me to stay at home and take care of the house, uh -huh. but couldn't afford to pay the cost to be uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Girl, you know I taught you better than that. You can't have no brother running around your house with his panties all up in the front, okay? <laughs> you better go with the modern times. Percy, you ain't never lied. You better do better. <laughs> But listen, there's something I need to talk to you about. Oh, girl, I ain't tripping about you running out of my life and abandoning me. I followed you on Instagram, Twitter, Chance and... Chance is your son. Woo! My son? Oh, God, what am I gonna do? Why you tell me nothing? Well, I wasn't sure who his father was. Ooh. And I just figured it'd be better not to tell you until recently. So why would you tell me now? What you need, money? I mean... Why didn't you just tell me? There never seemed to be a right time. Oh, and for the longest, I thought Chance was my ex's. What? So why do you think he's mine now? Well, when we had our rendezvous, mm -hmm. I was broken up with my ex. And we got back together shortly after you and I slipped up. So I never even considered you, Percy. Dude, I thought we were safe that night. <sighs> Percy, listen. <laughs> my ex-husband yeah, is remarried. But... And they haven't been able to have kids. So uh, what you're saying is because this... They can't have kids, the, the kid must be. Uh, uh, oh, God, okay. is this the worst thing I've ever Calm down, okay, Percy, calm down. I haven't seen you this flustered since the LGBTQ added three letters to the acronym. Girl, I still don't know all the rest of those letters. Okay, we all should just have a DNA test done okay. so that we know for sure. A DNA test? DNA test. I don't know the first thing about being a father. I'm used to being Mr. Steal your man, not Mr. Rapes your man. Hey! Come on, Percy. Do not act shy now, okay? You were just crying about you didn't know what to do. Oh. So just bring them up to speed. All right, y'all. Look, when I was in college, uh, me and my best friend, Casey, we got a little drunk one night, and we all know that gin makes you sin, right? And Percy so has a son. <laughs> what? What? How? What you mean by how? He and his bestie in college got drunk one night after a party, and they did the hanky-panky. Now she's in jail oh. with a 10-year-old child. Oh. Well, I I thought you didn't like the hankies or the pankies. Yeah, uh, listen, uh, uh, son, that, uh, that is beside the point, but uh, rather good. Well, no, sir, you know you are. Look, fellas, you know, I ain't seen Casey since college, and then she pops up at the beauty shop yesterday, and she never even told me she had a son. Now listen, person, I'm, I'm, I'm sure... terrified, Jay. There, is a, there has to be a logical explanation as to why she waited so long to tell you. Yeah, yeah, like she probably identified several other brothers, and when she found out they wasn't the father either, she ran off the stage crying. Wait, 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 wait a minute. That's a damn episode from Maury. Wait, 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 it's still I'm possible. Real. It's yeah. still possible. Yeah. I'm saying it's still possible. Listen, the show's still uh, yeah, yeah. Shut Just up. Tent. Listen, uh, Percy, it's not so bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, when I found out that uh, Kenny was my son, yeah. well, I, I felt scared. I mm. was uh, angry. Mm. I was resentful. I was mm. embarrassed. I was a little ashamed. Oh. You know, I, I was... that, that, that's how you felt, Pop? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Wow. But mm. then... Uh, then I got to meet Kenny. Yeah. And uh, get to know him. Yeah. And I, I just felt... Um, Embarrassed, too. <laughs> Hardy, hard, hard, Jay. Look, look, you know, I remember when I was Chance's age, man. I, I always wanted to meet my father, so I told myself that he would be the smartest, the coolest dad on the planet. You know, and, and then I met Jay, mm. and that's when I learned huh. 
He's not the smartest or the coolest, but at least he's on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. Listen, uh, Percy, I think what we're trying to say is you should meet the kid, all right? Get to know him. Spend some time with him, yeah. you know? Uh, don't feel bad that uh, you weren't there for him because neither of you had any idea. Give chance a chance. No pun intended. Yeah, well, I guess you did do the same thing with Kenny. I'm gonna call her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> hey, Casey, how you doing, boo? Uh, yeah, uh, good to talk to you, too. I, I, I was just, uh, uh, no, I wasn't gonna say anything until we found out what happened, but, but okay. All right, uh, sounds good? I'll see you then. Let me go handle this man business. Boy, you right look on, at you see, uh, okay, I see how you do it. Uh, it's happening. I still got it. I, I, see, I, I, see, good I see. Hey, fellas, I figured out what I'm going to do with my money. I'm going to do like you said, Jay, and invest it in my community. And, and that's y'all. And, and Smitty, what do you have in mind? Well, I figure you all get your best ideas together and pitch them to me. And whoever gives me the best pitch, I'll invest in that. We could do it at Jay's house tonight, and I even contact Mabel. Oh, yeah, yeah. why my house? Because it's homey, and I make my best decisions when I'm comfortable. And plus, that's gonna score you some bonus points with the investor. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys give me the time, and I'll be there. <laughs> uh, so, so what's this? Some, some kind of Smitty tank? Smitty tank. Welcome to the Smitty Tank. Who's our first contestant? Hello. I am Kenny Clark, and I am seeking $15,000 for 30% of my business, Man Weaves. Man Weaves? Yes. Now I see why you wore a helmet in your class picture. Look, man, they said I was special. Now let me explain. Now, nationwide, there has been a 60% spike in receding hairlines, causing a hatfish epidemic. Hmm? Well, that sounds interesting, Kenny. Let me hear some more. Okay. How are sales, and how long you been in business? Okay, okay, look, 18 hours. But I've already installed three man weaves at a $50 price point, okay? And the materials are free, you know, thanks to Mabel's animal hides out back. And I just came up on some gorilla head, huh? Well, that'll certainly sell. Yes, sir. So tell me, Kenny, do you have an example of how your product works? Oh, yes, I do have a live demonstration. All right. Now, today's categories are the brawn, the trump, and the heart, okay? Now, each man weave is guaranteed to add five years to your life or your money back, huh? Kenny, that just looks like his regular head of hair. Oh, no, no, see, look, five minutes ago, he looked like Tom Jordan. Oh. Well, that is a very impressive presentation, Kenny. Thank you, sir. I will have my people get in touch with your people. Okay, okay. You, you, you like this, though, right? Oh, I love it. You can stand back outside. Thank you, sir. I mean, we gonna get this, man. It's all about the hair, brother. Shocking, yet exhilarating. And now for our next contestant. Come on! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And your name is? <laughs> really? I have to introduce myself? I don't know you. Uh, 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 my name is uh, Jay Weaver, and I'd like to introduce a new barber utility belt. Uh, it's called the Barb Belt. <laughs> I'm like a, a barber superhero. Uh, I can uh, cut a fade in a single swipe. And your name is Jay Weaver? Jay Weaver. All right. Jay Weaver. Wait, 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 wait. And uh, what is that bar super belt made of, uh, Yeah, Jay I'm glad Weaver? you asked. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Alligator, lion, and goat hide. It's unbreakable. <laughs> it holds my neck cloth, my smock, my clippers, my shaving cream dispenser, my straight razors, and all I'm asking for is $3,000. <laughs> well, $3,000 sounds like a great price. Um, I'm, I'm, and I'm, how many of those have you sold, Jay uh, Weaver? Uh, currently, uh, uh, I'm in debt. <laughs> yeah, I owe uh, two hundred dollars. Uh huh. What, what, what's going on? What are you, what are you doing? There? <laughs> I give you two hundred dollars for that belt right now. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> uh, yeah, this isn't for sale. It's, it's the prototype. Oh, I know. Yeah, I give you two hundred dollars right now. No, you no, no.
I give you $25. All right, everybody come in. This is the suspenseful part. Hey, hey, look, uh, hey, I thought you were gonna wait for Mabel. Well, I was, but she heard about a big fight in Vegas and caught the first thing smoking. Oh, so what was her pitch? A fried chicken vending machine. Oh. <laughs> That's a pretty good idea. <laughs> it was a great idea, but then she wanted to replace the chicken wings with penguin flippers. Ooh. Now, I may not be a smart guy, but I'm not dumb enough to try and cheat black folks out their chicken. Mm. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> now, gentlemen, I really appreciated your presentation. Yeah. <laughs> they were professional and they were smart. Yes. And I wish I had enough money to invest in both of your ideas. So but I don't. Now, I'm gonna need just a little bit of time to weigh my decisions and check out my options. Yeah. You can go. Good. Okay, okay. Yeah. And you can take that busted bar belt with you. you don't touch that chicken. <laughs> Why am I leaving? This is my damn house. Get out! Oh, Chance, ain't no such thing as sneaking in the movies if nobody saw you. Hey, y'all. Hey, what's up? Oh, y'all look like y'all done had a shopping spree. Oh, well, we did. <laughs> so smooth. Hey, Chance. Hi, Auntie Cheryl. Auntie. <laughs> Okay, uh, little Percy, Chance, gonna tell me about your day. It was so cool. First, Mr. Percy took me shopping, and we bought a lot of clothes. Then, he took me to see that scary movie, yeah. Gifty Got You Good. I wasn't old enough to get in, so he uh, snuck hey, me Chance, in. Hey, Chance, Chance, okay, okay. This young man has a really amazing imagination. Yeah, he ain't the only one. Hey. Oh, hey, girl. How was everything? I had a really cool day with Mr. Percy. Well, did you say thank you? Thank you, Mr. Percy. Anytime, Chance. Chance, <laughs> how about you show your auntie Cheryl some of them new clothes that Mr. Percy got you? Yeah, go on over there with your auntie. Ladies <laughs> first. <laughs> auntie? Oh, girl, it was just a term of endearment. I had the best day of my life today. He brought me so much life. I ain't felt that in such a long time. And Percy, so... I had the DNA test done. Uh, you did? I did. What, well, how? Well, the water bottle you were drinking out of when I told you about oh. Chance. So you Olivia Pope now. Oh, drinking my water bottle? Well, you rushed off so fast. Oh, so scandalous. I... Oh, child. Well, I, I just used it and got the DNA test done. And, well. Give me this. What? So he's not my, he's not mine? No, he's not. Percy, I am so sorry. I mean, I see how much you were looking forward to being in Chance's life. And you know, I'll, I'll just, I'll completely understand if you never want to hear from me again. I just, I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm on an episode of Maury. I can't even believe this. I just think that I need a, I need a drink. Because I feel so good. And I got my life back. And Percy is fabulous again. I mean, this is some terrible, terrible, devastating news. Yeah, I see. So, Percy, are we good? Mm, yeah, we good. I guess I'm just glad I know the truth now. I'm so glad to hear you say that. Mm. Me too. Yeah. Okay, Chance, come on, time to go. Bye, Auntie Cheryl. Thanks Bye. for being so sweet to my baby. Oh, it was so easy. And nice meeting you, and hope to see you both soon. Mm -hmm. OK? All righty. Uh, uh, Casey, Chance, look, uh, I really enjoyed y'all. And uh, next time you come to town, would it be cool if maybe the three of us had ice cream or something? Yes, Mommy, please. Please? <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Yes, good, man. <laughs> And I would also like if I could uh, maybe get my bestie back. Please. Of course, you can have your bestie oh. back. <laughs> no more drug nights. Though. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right, well, uh, bye, Chance. Bye, Mr. Percy. That's Uncle Percy to you, Chance. Bye, Uncle Percy. Sure. It was good seeing y'all. Now, y'all, take these and get on up out of here, okay? Okay. All right, now. Find out who that baby daddy is, sis. Call Maury. Hey, Smitty! 
Yeah. Oh, buddy, old pal. <laughs> Listen, have you given any more thought to our pitches? Uh, you ready to bet on the bar belt? Come on now, Smitty. You know man weaves are the wave of the future, and I would advise you to be ahead of the curve with this idea, bro. Oh, well, I like all the ideas. The man weave, the bar belt, and my personal favorite, the fried chicken vending machine. Yeah, yo, well, listen, man, if you're feeling sad and choosing just one, I understand if you choose the bar belt. <laughs> well, that's the thing, Jay. Huh? I really wanted to invest in all of them, so I needed more money. So you went to the bank to get another loan? No, no, no. I had a dream about another horse, so I hit the track. Oh, Smitty, man, you on a roll. You hit it twice at the track? Man, you're the luckiest man I know. <laughs> well, yeah, I hit it. But then it hit me back with the coldest four piece since Frazier dropped Ali. What? What does that mean, Smitty? I lost the money. Ah! Man, all the money? Oh, oh love it. Man, you supposed to hit it and quit it, Smitty? Uh, yeah, Kenny, everybody makes mistakes. Look at you, you're my favorite one. Ah. You're not a mistake to me, Kenny. He is. to ah, oh, hard shell tortoise neck tacos for you, Kenny. Damn, Karen. All your soggy ass sneeze smissed and turned my hard shell tacos into soft tacos. Yeah, Karen, you don't look very well. Maybe you should go home and, and get some rest. Oh, thanks for your concern, yeah. Jay, but Babel's out sick with the flu, so we're short staffed. Besides, I just took my temperature and it said I'm 100 F, which means I'm 100% fine. No. <laughs> oh. no, no, Karen. Uh, uh, your, your fever is 100 Fahrenheit. You are sick. Oh. Bad cough, frail body. I ain't seen nobody that sick since the 80s. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on. It's just a little cold. Besides, I only vomited in the bathroom twice, which is way less than I did when I was auditioning for Nigeria's oh. Next Top Model. Wait, you auditioned for Nigeria's Top Model? Why? I had the unique look. No one out there looked like me. <laughs> uh, look, look, Karen, if, if you're not going to go home, at least grab some tissue. Cause you got more snot coming from your nose than Roscoe from Martin. Yeah, right. Uh, this is hey, bad. Can I get another <laughs> lemonade? Oh! No. Mm -mm. Can I get another lemonade maybe without this big ass booger in it? Yeah. And is it just me or is that some of your puke chunks in my jambalaya? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Ooh. Is everything really that bad? Yes! Look, and I'm sure our plates aren't the only ones that got infected today. Oh, Miss Mabel will have a fit if I mess up her money. All these people are in town for that big basketball tournament. Oh, that's right. The big three is in town this weekend. Exactly. And she says, after the game, all the thirsty groupies come here because they're hungry, so I have to hold her down. Sick or no sick. I'm This is like the cafeteria in the beginning. Of I am legend. <laughs> I cannot believe that you left me here on the busiest day of the year. Everybody named Mama up in here. How many clients do you have coming in today? <sighs> okay, I got this. Don't worry. <sighs> Ooh, I don't have this. <laughs> one second, I'm okay. Just give me one second, everybody. Um, hello? Uh, one second, miss. I'll be with you in a second. Are you, uh, Cheryl's client? No, Percy, it's me, Jerrica. Oh. Jerrica Star. Jerrica, yes. what are you doing here, girl? And why do you look like you just lost a Twitter war with Cardi B? You look a mess, child. Because I did, Percy. Oh, no. Oh, oh, she cursed me out in Spanglish. And I lost all of my Jerrica stylists because of it. Oh. I lost my endorsement with Weaves Are Us. No. My producer's credit on the real Section A baddies. No. And oh. I'm no longer the franchisee of Chick-fil-A. Oh, Jerrica. Girl, that's every influencer's worst nightmare. Come sit. Let me fix that lopsided wig for you, girl. You look, you look messy. What? No, Percy, that's not why I'm here. Then why are you here? I'm here because I need a job. And I figured, mm. Percy, mm -hmm. my favorite person in the world, would, mm. would hire me. Your favorite person in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Well, last time you saw your favorite person, you fired my ass. So why should I hire you, Jerrica? Hmm? Oh, oh, oh. And I'm only down to one more meat. 
And you know a chick is about to sink when she down to her last mm -hmm. beat? Yes. Oh, please, uh, Percy, please. Look, Jerrica, you can assist me for the weekend because I have this crazy influx of clients, but that's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Percy. Oh, I cannot wait to recreate all of Beyonce's legendary sew-ins <laughs> and make a weave that looks identical to Halle Berry's and Bips. And... Uh-uh, boo. Do not get beside yourself, okay? You will be assisting me. So you better find a broom. Uh-uh, well, I'm Jerrica Star, not Jerrica Co-Star. Mm -hmm. Well, you gonna be dancing with the rest of the broke stars real soon if you don't get to working, okay? Touche. This place is packed. Damn, it sure yes, is. It is. Wait, hey, uh, is that Karen? Yeah. Karen. <sighs> Denzel, glory. <laughs> uh, Karen, you you still sick? You should go home. You you look like a Walking Dead extra. <laughs> I can't go home, Jay. Babel said if I missed all the business from Big Three, that I was going to be the next thing missing. Dude, maybe you ought to hire a temp or something, because you're going to start a pandemic. You keep spraying everybody's orders with your secret sauce. <laughs> Karen, yeah, this this ain't good for Mabel's business. Yeah, yeah, uh, Kenny's right here. Uh, you you look worse than you did yesterday, and I, I didn't think it could get any worse than that. Well, I'm practically the only one here. Mabel's out sick, and then I had to send the cook home after his explosive diarrhea splat all over the oh. sea like a gumbo. Well, maybe we could help out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why really? not? Really? I mean, we just closed the shop up for the night. Why not? Yeah, yeah, we don't mind. Oh, that's so nice. I don't know, though. Have you ever worked at a restaurant before? Oh, this would be easy to learn. I'll be the cook. Yeah, okay. I, I work with money all day. I'll, I'll do the register. Well, that makes sense, because you are cheap and frugal, and kidding like Angelique's personal servant, so he'd be a good waiter. What? Look, Karen, look, we, we can get it done, and at least Mabel will be glad she didn't lose her business. That does so good. I am going to go home and get some rest. Hopefully, I have another one of those Johnny Depp reoccurring dreams where he uses his Edward scissor hands to cut me up some sexy lingerie. Yeah, well, that sounds actually traumatizing. <laughs> oh, well, if you think that's traumatizing, wait until you hear about the Sam Jackson dream where he shows me how to cure jungle fever. Yeah, no, 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 I, I don't think I want to hear anymore. Hey, go, go, go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I want to hear about it. No, no. Like Yo! All right, well, look, this shouldn't be too hard at all. Yeah, man, how hard could it be? All right. Well, uh, excuse me, could I get the check, please? And, and I didn't even get my refill. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, excuse me. I asked for my ostrich egg scrambled, not over easy. Uh, waiter. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. And, um... Oh, oh. Percy, what am I supposed to do with her? Put her under the dryer, girl. Uh, Duh. Okay, Ashley, let's go. Hurry up! Ooh, Beck, Beck. Good. Woo! Finally, all done. Can I go on my lunch break now, Pete? Uh, no, you cannot. I just put your ass to work five minutes ago. Okay, fine. What you want me to do then? I want you to go and wash Latanya's hair. Nappy-headed LaTanya. Get back there. Come on, happy to be nappy. <laughs> Percy, which one of hot water? It's the one on your left. My left or your left? Your left. But ain't my left your left? No. I think it, I'm right. I think you're wrong. So it's my right instead of my left? No, it's the one with the ace on it, damn it. You know I only do colonics, not phonics, Percy. Look, Jerrica, why don't you do me a favor, okay? Mm. Just give people compliments like you do best. Okay, fine, I'll do that. <sighs> Let's check on Ashley's hair. Ashley, what you doing? Oh, okay! Them edges is laid, okay? You better work all day and twice on Sunday. <laughs> Move, Percy. Hey, Melissa, girl. Oh, I should use you as my nightlight because your skin is glowing, boo. You do not look a day over 30. <laughs> Oh, thank you, girl. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jerrica, you know, I think I might use you more often to just give compliments around here. Okay. I'll teach you all the ropes when it comes down to hair a little bit later. Okay. All right. Yeah. Bump me once. Ooh. Yeah, bump me twice. Okay, yeah. okay Ooh, Tina Fey. Yeah. Tina Fey. Okay. Miss Peaches. She gonna be at all the beaches this summer. Oh, okay. Really? 
Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know what that is, but okay. Oh. $10 is your change. But I gave you a 50 yeah. and I did not eat $40 of food. Uh, no, but you, you did have a drink with four refills and uh, gratuity is added. <laughs> what? Where's Mabel? She ain't here. So make like a chip and dip. <laughs> go on and get. <laughs> here you go, ma'am. Your order of French bunion soup with extra bunions. I didn't order no damn soup. I asked for the squirrel salad. Extra uh, tail? I apologize for the inconvenience. Let me head back to the kitchen for just a moment. You still want it? No, go for it. OK, thank you. Hey, Kenny, you're struggling back there. Ain't nobody order no French bunion soup. Well, why don't you come back here and cook it yourself then, man? Let me get my original job as being a waiter. No, no, my mama said if you can't handle the heat, stay out the kitchen. And it's too hot back there. Plus, my uncle died in the kitchen. Really? Oh, yeah. His nose got tangled up in his wife's nappy-ass kitchen when they were sleeping. He suffocated. Hey, speak. Get back to work, man. Here you go, sir. Here's your check. Uh, didn't I ask you to take them Walrus Taquitos off the bill? Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, you did. And as much as I'd like to, you you did eat them. So technically, I, I, I can't do that. Well, as much as I'd like to take my fist across your face, technically, I can't do that either. Now, can I? <laughs> no, you can't. No, can't. And technically, the rest will be my tip. All right, man. You decide what you want to eat? How's the beaver bread? Oh, the beaver bread might be the best thing we have on the menu. The warm, mouth-watering, gooey bread toasted to a tender perfection is to die for. That sounds delicious. I'll take one of those. We out of that. Just bring me something. OK, how about a squirrel salad? I already ordered that. OK, so the second one will be half off on me. Yeah. How's your meal? It was absolutely terrible. Huh? Now, usually I say something like compliments to the chef. Right. But this time, this meal was just downright insulting. Not only did I receive the wrong order, but the hippopotamus quesadillas that I ordered uh -huh. were covered in here. Oh. Yeah? Smitty, man, how'd you manage to get hair in the food? Oh, well, a couple of hairs might have dropped in there when I took my hat off. But look, Kenny, that ain't nothing. That's natural, man. Hair come from the human body. It's protein. It ain't like I still got lice. Hey, hey, we can fix that. He doesn't have lice. I, I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what is happening? Oh, Smitty, this is bad. Now, how are we going to explain? How are you going to explain to Mabel why all our customers are scared away? Shoot, that ain't all on me. Y'all ain't been doing no better. Kenny back there making up the wrong orders, and you up here making out the wrong check. You explain it to Mabel. Yeah, well, I, how are we going to explain it? You the one owns a business. I, I just work there. I, I, I don't have nothing to do with this. I ain't got nothing to do with this either. Uh... There you go, girl. Now, I know you used to wigs and whatnot, but once you go track, you never go back. Oh, girl, oh, girl, I see you. Look, I knew you could do it, Jerrica. You're actually a fast learner. I'm surprised you didn't pick this up years ago. I know, right? I really am good at doing hair. Yeah. I mean, all this time I could have been making money putting tracks in the girls' uh -huh. heads instead of snatching them out, you know? Them out. Yeah. <laughs> You actually have found your calling. And you did a real good job staying low-key as Derricka Star. Oh, okay. I know, right? Nobody recognized me. I mean, now I could truly be myself. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, Jerrica, I think they found you out, girl. What? It says, I can't believe Jerrica Star has gone broke and has to make money doing hair. Oh. Cardi B really stole her soul with that one tweet. Mm. Oh, this mm -hmm. is video like 20 minutes ago. Oh, okay, well, at least we can try and have it deleted since 
Not a lot of people saw it yet. Mm. Well, uh, is five million views a lot of people to you? So sorry, but uh, look on the bright side. At least you went viral. Yeah, but for being a damn hairstylist, Ooh, I mean, excuse me. that's like the lowest honor totem pole, <laughs> right next to crack dealer. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> really? Look, I'm sure you can pull yourself together, girl. All you gotta do is just, you know, get you a couple of little clients, side hustle. Well, what if I don't, Percy? I got you. Don't worry about it. You're gonna make some money. You're not gonna be broke just, again. I'm gonna let you be to broke. I promise I'm not. Oh, girl, uh, excuse me, ma'am. One second. Uh, uh, actually, we're here to see uh, Jerrica Star. Oh. <gasps> me? Yeah. You like me? Oh. You really like me? I love you. Of course they love you, girl. You a star, remember? Now take that side of the shop, and I'll take this half, OK? OK. <laughs> and for the half of you whose hair I don't do, I'll make sure to give you a custom-made Jerrica Star compliment before you leave. Hey there. You looking for Jerrica Star? Oh, that's me. Oh, hi, Jerrica. I'm Robbie Hunt. I'm one of the producers on the reality show in Wings Fly. I was uh, wondering if you'd be interested in being one of our featured stars. Um, absolutely. Great. Can we film right here in the salon? Well, you would have to ask my personal mentor, Percy. Well, as long as you give your personal mentor a commission, we good, girl. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, like a camera crew. OK, come here. Now tell your mother, brother, sister, and auntie, because Jerrica Star is back, hunty. <laughs> Mabel is gonna get them for leaving her restaurant a mess. Mars and Shine. Wake up! Oh, just a minute, OJ. <laughs> oh, hey, Karen. You feeling better? Well, I was until I walked in here. What time is it? Time for us to get this place cleaned up before Mabel gets back. What happened? Everything happened. Mabel's dumbass customers wore us out. We tried our best. Well, I guess some folks just ain't cut out for the restaurant business. Yeah, man, our first mistake was thinking we was cut out for this in the first place. <laughs> you gotta have style, grace, and carry a little mace to get respect around here. Oh, God. Mabel maced me the first time I came in here because she thought I was an undercover cop. My eyeballs were bleeding uncontrollably, but I still respected her. Yeah, we'll help you get this place back together and, uh, get the restaurant back in order when the dog pound comes here tonight. Oh, no. Mabel would never serve dog. The health department made sure of that. Yeah, no, 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 Karen. <laughs> we heard that Snoop Dogg is going to be performing across the street tonight. Yeah, yeah, and his fans are going to catch the munchies and come right here afterwards. <laughs> oh, okay. man, speaking of the munchies, is it possible you could hook up some breakfast while we get this place together? Oh. Sure, I can fix you up a whole buffet. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I think we have some of that leftover chunky jambalaya in the back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, no, Karen, I, I think I'm going to pass. Uh, yeah, I don't think jambalaya is supposed to be chunky. Chunky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After we finish cleaning up, we're gonna head over to Rocco's and uh, get them turkeys and pancakes. Hey. Ooh, yay! It'll be my first time going there. I have always wanted to try the Condoleezza rice and gravy. Mm. 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 Ain't nobody invite her. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys can leave now. I'm at work. Okay, fine, I'll take three more. <laughs> Now leave me alone before I knock y'all out with this broom. Hey, Jerrica. Oh, hey. You know, being out of the limelight for so long makes you forget how hard being a celebrity really is. Mm. I'm definitely in need of a vacay. I feel you, girl. So I'm real excited about your producer sending us to the Bahamas next week. <laughs> us? Mm -hmm. us? Oh, no, sweetie. You not coming with me. Uh, what? Uh, but Jerrica, I thought that I was your mentor, your partner, your Bahamian buddy. 
Hey, it's not up to me. It's up to the producers who created the new show. Well, I created you and taught you everything that you know about doing hair. And I thank you for that, Percy. <sighs> but it comes a time in a baby bird's life where she must fly, fly, fly from the nest and leave mama bird by her lonesome while I explore the world. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet? What kind of ratchet-ass metaphor was that? Sound like you was raised by a pimp named Slickback. Look, I know you upset at me, Percy, and you probably hate me right now. I do. But I love my haters, and I love you, and that's why I would never go to the Bahamas without you. Wait, so you gonna take me to the Bahamas? Oh, I got my feet on me. Oh, my God. No, but for real, uh -huh. I would never leave you here after everything oh. you've done for me. Thank you, Jerry. We're about to have the best three weeks of our lives. We sure are, and we're going to be sitting first class, wide glass, like you be saying, right? Uh, no, Percy. You see, I'll be flying first class, uh -huh. wine glass. Okay. You're doing the most if you're thinking you're not in coach. Uh, coach? <laughs> well, I'll take it. Get it, get it. I'm probably just. Yes! Uh, your scissors. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Hey, Smitty. Smitty, he brought me. He just brought a bomb. Bomb saw. Smitty, I don't understand how you didn't get sick from maple and carrot. Well, it's probably because I've been to Germany, and you know, that's where they kill all the germs. <laughs> what? No, I don't have symptoms for no stomach flu like y'all do. No crazy cough, no snotty nose, no... Uh, oh. 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 Explosive oh. diarrhea! I'll be right back. Oh. Oh. He's leaking. That <laughs> left the mark. <laughs> I'm just saying that there is no way that paper uh, is a good material for a straw. Reach you know on, brother. I mean, before you know it, it's all floppy and soggy. <laughs> I, I guess they expect you to, to drink up really fast before this the straw goes bad. No, no, and in my case, that means a brain freeze when I am drinking and mm -hmm. icy. The last time we were at the movies, okay. I went through four different paper straws before the zombie killed the black guy. And you know he died first. <laughs> Listen, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait a minute. Hey, there's no way. Are, are you guys horror movie fans? Oh, no. Stop. I'm not really into horror, but it's really just Melissa. Well, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin can't handle reruns of Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> well, you and me both. Are right? No, 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 no. Look, I'm not scared of the monsters. I just don't like seeing teenagers so far going off psychedelics. They think their dog could talk to them. <laughs> yeah, I, I love scary movies. Mm. I, I just don't get a chance to watch because Cheryl doesn't like to see them. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I I don't like watching people getting killed. I, I, it gives me nightmares. Oh, what's your favorite horror movie, Jay? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, don't tell me. Friday, Friday the 13th! Oh. Yeah! Jason is the absolute oh best. Oh, my God. He, he is ruthless. Yes, it doesn't matter how fast his victims run. He always seems to catch right, them with right. the slow, creepy walk of his. Yeah, that's because he has a giant, bloody machete. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, if you don't die from the stab wounds, you'll definitely die from the hepatitis transmission. Jason, he's, he's, he's like a Democrat. It doesn't matter how many times mm -hmm. you destroy him, he will never, ah. ever die. And he just seems to come back stronger in the next movie with the big <laughs> That is so funny. Isn't it funny how me and Melissa love Friday the 13th fans? <laughs> right, Cheryl? Oh, yeah. You know, I bet that if Jason was named Jerome, they'd make sure he never came back. Oh, look at you. Ain't no way they let a brother creep through the woods, killing white women without taking him out. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny.
funny. Yeah, I, I just had a Melissa to the uh, classic horror movie fan club on uh, Face Space, and she's sending me all these pictures. Pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of her in different uh, horror costumes. <laughs> Look, like she, she's dressed dressed up like Carrie. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> no, no. In this one, she's Norma Bates. Yeah, God, a real psycho. Uh, I don't see why you are talking to her this late. Uh, well, sweetheart, she just uh, invited us to the new horror flick. Sweetheart, there's a new horror movie, and she just invited us on a double date. Uh, you know I don't like scary movies. Why would I do that? Well, to get to know our neighbors better, and besides, your your strapping husband can uh, put his big, strong arms around you in uh -huh. case you get scared. Ooh, why don't you wrap him around Melissa? <laughs> yeah, what, what is that supposed to mean? She just invited us on a date? Well, you were supposed to take me to that new sequel about the two old-ass egotistical cops. And, sweetheart, I still am going to take you to see Rude Boys 3, uh, just on a, a different night. Oh, 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 okay, whatever. You know what? You never realize when someone is flirting with you. What are you talking about? She just invited us to the movies. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Come on, I saw Melissa, how she was trying to get close to you at dinner, and how dare she likes the same movies as you, all of them, the cartoons, too. Yes, yeah, sweetheart, it's just a silly movie. And, and, and besides, uh, Kevin is going with us. So I have nothing to worry about. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's she's a bride of the of Frankenstein in this one. <laughs> and I'll just put this down right now. And where were we? We are hot. Oh. Oh, no way, Smitty. Yeah, uh, so what are you calling your new side hustle? It's called Urban Taxidermy Recycling. What? I take dead animals and turn it into something useful, like a coffee table. The flat ones make a nice dinner plate. <laughs> in the hell in the right mind want a dead dog as a coffee table. Right. White folks love their dogs, Kenny. <laughs> well, nothing says a dream job like stuffing a dead rat. Don't knock it till you try it, Jay. There's something comforting about working with a warm carcass. Matter of fact, I might invite you over tonight to see the skunk I worked on yesterday. Damn, Smitty, is that what that smell was last night? Yep, I'm trying to collect enough to make a skunk skin blanket. And if you're nice to me, I might invite you over for some skunk meat tacos. Pungent, yet tantalized. Oh, okay. well, as disgusting as that sounds, Minnie, I can't. I'm, I'm going to check out that new uh, horror flick tonight. <laughs> you know what? I can't stand scary movies. Uh, I mean, every time I watch one, I start hearing these creepy noises around my apartment. Yeah, and the worst thing is taking a woman to a scary movie. She get all jumpy and then wants you to buy extra popcorn because she spilt hers all over the exactly. floor. Exactly. <laughs> oh, snap. Hey, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the brother be having them triple doubles every game. Yeah, man. I wonder what he's doing here. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking for Kenny. Hey, yeah. uh, I'm Kenny. Hey, hey, what's up, man? What's up, baby? Listen, I heard your cuts are legit, and I need a fresh one for tonight's game. Can you look me up? I mean, of course, man. I got you. Come on. So, uh, how'd you hear about me? Well, you know. Uh, I got a bunch of family that lives on this side of town, and my cousin's baby mama's half-brother said you cut a mean fade. Yeah. Well, yeah, he all right. <laughs> but uh, nothing like the Jay Weaver special. <laughs> yeah, I'll just uh, put it here till you're done. <laughs> hey, Hustle, I'm Smitty. You know how much money I lost on you? I ought to wipe the floor. No, 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 Smitty! Hey, hey! hey. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, all right, all right. Hey, hey, get back to work. Damn! Are they always like this? Yeah, unfortunately. So, uh, what kind of cut you looking for? Listen, I heard you the man, so I'm gonna trust the work of the artist. Just, uh, give me something uh, new and fresh. Use your imagination. Okay, say no more. Hey, Kenny. Yeah? If you hook me up right, I'm gonna have you trapped with a company on road games. Hey, for sure, man. I'll be down for that. <laughs> No. Oh, hey, man, get the thing out of here. Whoa! 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 What was that? Uh, well, you know, you, you know, you said you wanted something, something fresh and, and new, and, and, and to use my imagination. So, <laughs> Woo, that's fresh. Oh. Yeah.
What in the hell do you call this? Uh, yeah, I call that the, the bad bumble. Woo! <laughs> that's real creative. Yeah. You wanna know? You wanna know what I call it? What you call it? I should beat your ass. What? What? The, what the... Hey, have a nice game. Don't be mad. It's an improvement. Look like a cross between Dikembe Mutombo and George Jefferson. <laughs> All right. I can't, I can't believe how high you jumped when that clown popped out of the oh. girl's TV. Look, <laughs> I, I, I told you I had bad dreams about clowns. Uh, this one time I, I had a dream and I turned into a clown and I held an entire courtroom hostage. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how you managed to juggle that one. You get it with the clown and the juggling. Oh, coming, got it. Oh, hey, hey. I got it. <laughs> Yeah, how was the movie? Oh, it was great. It was great. A lot of monsters, yes. gore, chainsaws. <laughs> and I didn't even get that scared. Yeah, if you <laughs> didn't get that scared, then why do we have to go for ice cream after? Well, I told you that mint chocolate chip is my ultimate weakness. <laughs> right, it is. So where's Kevin? Oh, child, he got scared, backed out last right. minute. It ended up just being me and Jay. Hey, we didn't need him anyway. Uh -uh, he would have just, just ate up all our popcorn. <laughs> 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 um, so I have to get going. Um, Jay, I had a wonderful oh, time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, maybe next week we can go see uh, Bloody Tarantulas from Hell. You oh, love that? It's a plan. Yes! yes! Thank you. <laughs> okay. um, good night, Cheryl. Good night, Mr. I mean, Melissa. Hey, hey. <laughs> so you enjoy your little date? Yeah, you know, you know what date? So what? You think it's okay to take women to the movies and ice cream? Come on, that's the date, Jay. No, it wasn't. <laughs> hey. Did you take a long walk in the park after dark? Uh, look, <laughs> when you're laughing and eating ice cream, two miles doesn't see. I'm not helping my case that much. I, I, look, uh, <laughs> sure, oh, baby, honey, mm -hmm. I, I asked you to come. Yeah. You chose not to. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Maybe what I'll start doing is hanging out with Kevin. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, go, go for it. <laughs> Have at it. Uh. Really? Yeah. Have at it? <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, Kenny. Since you destroyed your barbering career today, I brought you a little something to cheer you up. Smitty, would you get that nasty-ass thing off my coffee table? It's a coaster. <laughs> and besides, excuse me for trying to do something to cheer you up with a little bit of animal art, Mr. Bad Barber. What are you doing here anyway? Well, um, I was trying to watch the last episode of The Mass Pop Locker, but my TV went out, so I was wondering if I could watch it here. Man, go ahead. Just move that thing out of my way, man. Feel like it's staring at me. <laughs> Thank you. Man, it's times like these that I appreciate my friends who actually pay their cable. Don't get used to it. Wait, wait, hold up, go back real quick. Uh-uh, don't buy none of them videos, Kenny. That's a bait and switch. I bought a video one time called Girls in a Wild. Wasn't nothing but some drunk white girls getting chased around by zoo animals. Not that channel, man. Look. Hustle Eastbrook. Oh, Kenny, I was trying to get your mind off of that. Now they got that catastrophic haircut you gave him on national TV. Hey, hold on, sweetie. Shh. Hustle, a career high 59 points tonight. How did you do it? Uh, well, you know, tonight I just felt like I couldn't miss. I was uh, in the zone. <laughs> and I gotta say, I'm digging this new funky hairstyle. Uh, uh, my new fresh cut is called the Bad Bumble. My new barber, Kenny, over at Jay's Chop Shop, he hooked it up. And uh, it was my good luck charm. It's amazing. Can I touch it? Nah, baby. Uh, Kenny, by the haircut, bro. You the man. You heard him, folks. Kenny's bad bumble gets you ready to rumble. Did, did you see that? He, he liked the haircut I gave him. Yeah. He just shouted me out. 
We ain't gonna need no girls in the wild. Your DM about to be popping. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I can't believe Cheryl got mad at me for going to the movies that we were both invited to. That's how women are, Jay. They say they ain't hungry, but as soon as you get your food, they start snatching fries out your bag. I mean, there is nothing wrong with enjoying the company of another woman when you're married, especially if that woman happens to be married, too. You know what, last time I checked, they call that a side piece, Jay. I thought a side piece was that thing Mabel keeping her apron. Oh, that too. OK, I do not have a side piece. Not according to Cheryl. And if I was you, I'd probably fix that so you're not asking to sleep on my couch. Oh, OK, wait, wait, wait. What the hell are you even doing here? Are you trying to come back to redeem yourself after yesterday's disaster? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what the hell is so funny? Well, I guess you were so uh, wrapped up in your date last night that uh, you didn't catch the end of that game. What? Yeah, Hustle Eastbrook had the game of his life, and he shouted out Kenny's haircut as his good luck charm. Man, it's insane. Look, my social media numbers are skyrocketing. <laughs> Wait a minute, you went from a zero to a hero all in a day? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it reminds me of the time I put it all on red on that roulette wheel in Vegas. Oh, what happened? Soup whoop, that's what happened. <laughs> I made so much money that night, it didn't even matter. I got robbed by some elderly strippers the night before. It was like that J-Lo movie, but with Ben Gay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, listen, Kenny, I wouldn't get too ahead of yourself. <laughs> you know, that uh, social media stuff, it's a, a fairy tale world. <laughs> I, I, I doubt if it'll make any real impact on your life, you know? Yo, oh. is Kenny here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, right over here, man. Cool, bro. I need that dope, bad bumble in my life. I want it to look just like Hustle Eastbrook's. Looks like he's making a real impact in his life. On ours, too. Hey, I'll take who's ever next. Come on. Oh, come on. You mean to tell me that you all want to walk around with a, a bald patch down the middle of your head? Yeah, fam. It's the dopest new trend. Oh, you hear that, Jay? I'm a trendsetter. You didn't know that, but such an old head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just quit hating, Jay. OK, look, I can't be around this stupidity. I'm taking an early lunch. That's... Hey, uh, with all my new customers, you can take early retirement. <laughs> hey, fellas, I can cut that dope bad bumble, too. Oh, you can? Oh, yeah, I've been cutting patches in people's heads my whole career. Now I'm finally about to start getting paid for it. Oh, well, maybe now you make enough money to stop paying your rent late every month. Well, see, that's where you are wrong, Kenny. It's not that I don't have money. It's just I don't spend it on stupid stuff like rent. I know. <laughs> Who's next? Hey! Hit me. <laughs> oh! Damn! <laughs> I couldn't resist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Woo! Look at you. Come on, Blackjack again. You done beat me. Come on, you wanna play another one? Actually, I'm pretty sleepy, and I don't really like playing cards, because my dad actually lost our house when I was a kid in a <laughs> card game. And that's why I don't like horrors, and it still haunts me to this day. Well, white people problems. <sighs> okay, look, scratch that, all right? Okay. Why don't we uh, toss the cards out? Let's watch a little TV. You uh, like a little comedy, a little I, I drama? would love to, Cheryl, but I really got to get going. I'm supposed to cook uh, Melissa dinner tonight. Oh, what so. you cooking? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe something unseasoned. Nothing, nothing yeah, as good as yours, though. So, you know. Come on, you want to play a, a, a quick board game before you go? I, I really got to go. Board games make me uh, bored. So <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Cheryl. Oh. Hey, Cam. Yeah, you guys are hanging out? Yeah. Uh, good to see you, Jay. I was actually just leaving, oh, though. Right. Yeah. Um, is she OK? <laughs> Uh, I'll talk to her. <laughs> Have fun with your candy cane. <laughs> hey, baby. Yeah. Oh, I see you guys hanging out. Uh, how was your evening? Uh, I, I, yeah. It was horrible. Yeah, well, <laughs> we got nothing in common. Oh, yeah, why nothing. were you hanging out with them? You. What, me? You know, I was trying to teach you a lesson because I was a little jealous. Jealous? Yeah, look, Cheryl, I, I'm not jealous of Kevin, uh, nor anybody for that matter. Listen, I was feeling a little uncomfortable about you spending all this time with Melissa, and I felt a little uh, left out. Yeah, sweetheart, I wasn't trying to make you feel uncomfortable. I, I am sorry if I was um, insensitive to your feelings, all right? I don't want to lose you. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to lose you, too, baby. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'll tell you what. If you feel this strongly about it, yeah. I will not spend any more time with Melissa unless it's on a double date with you, 
by my side. Deal? Okay. Deal? <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. I, I tell you what, what, we need to start doing more activities together that both of us like. Okay, like mm -hmm. some spades. You want to play some spades? A girl, I just got home from work. <laughs> yeah, you don't want your butt whooped already now, do you? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to be the one whooping that butt. You better go on and deal these cards. What? <laughs> you better think about it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Loser buys the whipped cream. <laughs> Listen, you could skip that. The whipped cream's already upstairs. Oh, you ain't said nothing. I got this. <laughs> you want the bit? No. We don't. Hey, my man, you want to cut? Yo, yo, I got that back. My man. Brother, you, brother, you. You know, I'll start getting some more customers. I ain't never going to be able to quit my side hustle as a taxidermist. Oh, man, you need to quit anyway. I'm tired about building something like damn downtown L.A. Alley, man. If it makes dollars, it makes sense. Look, man, whatever. All I'm saying is if Hustle keeps playing like this, he's definitely going to actually be his personal barber. I mean, look, that bad bumble is his good luck charm. Oh, no. Eastbrook gets clobbered on the top of the head with an elbow, and there is blood Oh, everywhere. man, this is unbelievable. What? Look like he got a stinger in his bad bumble. Man, shut yep. up, Smitty. Looks like he just got a stinger in his bad bumble. <laughs> <laughs> you right that if he had hair in that spot on his head, then it would have cushioned the impact and he'd be just fine. Come on, man, they can't think this is my fault. This is definitely his part. <laughs> Such negligence. That haircut is bad luck. What? <laughs> man, that haircut is... Come on, y'all. Where you going? Come on, man. I... Where you going, brother? Come on, brother, let me please finish your hair, man. Really? Really? D oh, damn. This always happens to me. It's all right, Kenny. I got a certified stuffed comfort crow for you. That ought to cheer you right up. Thanks, brother. Yeah, listen, Kenny, I, I'm sorry you went from a zero to a hero, then back down to a zero. <laughs> it's all good, Jay. I mean, it was cool while it lasted. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I paid my rent for the rest of the year, and, uh, you know, Hustle Brooks said I can come through and check out a couple of his games, you know, as soon as he gets healthy again. <laughs> yeah. uh, so did being a superstar barber for a couple of days come with any perks? Oh, well, you know, I got a bunch of DMs and, uh, you know, from random girls that Angelique deleted as soon as I got home. But other than that, you know, nothing really. Well, I, for one, I'm glad things are back down to normal. Yeah, at least I get to cut hair again. Yeah. All right. Morning, fellas. Hey, Smitty. Uh, whoa. <laughs> What's with the new hardware? Yeah, you gonna do some uh, gardening around the shop? Oh, contraire, fellas. This is my new money-making machine. Oh, what, you gonna threaten customers and let you cut them? <laughs> and literally cut them? Nope, I'm gonna continue with the bad haircut trend and see if I can't discover the next big thing. My next new cut is called Trimmed Hedges. Hey, wait, wait, wait. It's, it's scaring away the customers. so different in here. Well, you know, I took your advice and uh, did a little feng shui. Oh, <laughs> did you now? Yes. You know, there are five key elements to shifting the energy mm. in your space, you know. Nice coasters. Wood brings peace and prosperity. Oh, oh, well, you know, mm. I, I keep that wood on deck, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I also got this uh, fire for the passion we gonna have up in here tonight, girl. Oh. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, tell me about the other three. Oh, I got this. Check this out. Okay. Earth in this pot. For stability. Oh! Mm -hmm. Check this out. Water to enhance communication. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the metal frame I gave you for your birthday. You got that right, baby. Oh. Look, metal helps you to stay focused. And right now, I'm going to focus on shifting our energy into the bed. Oh, I like Let's get out of here. Jimmy, why are there a pair of ugly sneakers on the counter? <laughs> ugly? Look, they did not hear you. They did not hear you, baby. Baby, these are retro influenza sixes, to be exact. Look, I just took them out, you know, wiped them down so they can soak up some of this feng shui energy we got up in here. OK, OK, so there's no reason for them to be on the counter. I've never seen them. Where'd you get them anyway? You know what? You know, Alicia had gave these to me, you know, as a gift years ago. I just 
keeping them right. Alicia. Yeah. Why do you still have gifts that your ex-girlfriend had gave you? Look, look, babe, baby, look, she may be my ex, but I, I can't get rid of the sixes. I mean, they are extinct. If you keep them, you're gonna be extinct. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Disagree. A what? The cha-cha slide is way more intricate than the Cupid shuffle. I get out of here, man. A, a guy telling you to stomp two times, put your hands on your knees, and crisscross is basically doing the, the hokey pokey. Yeah, but the part where he says to turn yourself around? Yeah, that's a classic. Oh, okay. Yeah. What you think, Kenny? I think they're both old, like you two. <laughs> oh, forget you, man. Yeah, yeah, what's going on with you? Man, you know what? I'm glad you asked. Look, how do you guys feel about uh, holding on to gifts your ex once gave you? Well, that depends what it is. Yeah, one of my exes once gave me a oh, bag. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, TMI, Smith, TMI. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear about a gift your ex gave you that sent you straight to the clinic. <laughs> well, <laughs> FYI, Jay, I didn't go to the clinic. I went to the veterinarian. Right, well, uh, look, look, Angelique spotted these limited edition uh, influencers, right? And, and she got all pissed off when she found out that they were a gift from Alicia. Well, I understand. Sometimes you got to let go of things that remind you of your ex to keep peace with your future ex. Look, Angelique is not my future ex, and I don't think about Alicia when I wear them. I just think about how fly I look in them, period. Those are fly. Yes, they are. Hi. Hi, I'm looking for a Jay Weaver. Oh, uh, that would be me. These <laughs> are for you, Who are they from? <laughs> it's not my job to know who sent what to who and why, okay? My job is simply to deliver the goods. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can sign right here. All right. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> there you go. And here you go. Woo! <laughs> Have a nice day. Hey, nice shoes, my friend. Oh, thank you. You see, see, she didn't ask who gave them to me. She simply admired the flyness and the equally fly brother wearing them. Boy, you ain't got to convince me. <laughs> okay, so what Cheryl do got her sending you flowers? Well, actually, uh, Cheryl didn't do anything, including sending me these flowers. Oh, well, uh, who are they from, player? It, it just says, have a great day, Juicy J. Love your secret admirer. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> maybe they're supposed to go to uh, Juicy J the rapper. Yeah, uh, no, uh, the address says Juicy J Weaver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looked like Kenny ain't the only one got his exes sending him gifts. Yeah. Hey, what are you grinning about so hard today? <laughs> uh, Jay, secret admirer. <laughs> what, Jay, secret what? Uh, and why are you smiling about it so hard? Yeah, you don't hear yourself, sis. <laughs> well, Lester can keep a secret. Well, sometimes Lester T is boiling hot, and you know I can't hold ice water. <laughs> well, speaking of hot, I sent a bouquet of flowers to Juicy uh, J. Juicy J, mm. the rapper? I knew I smell scissor up all on your breath, girl. <laughs> no, fool, my husband. <laughs> I saw the flowers being delivered from a secret admirer who happens to be me. So why didn't you just send the flowers yourself? Because I'm role-playing. Oh, role-playing, huh? I like that. You know, last time I role-played, I didn't go back to the other side. It was the best decision of my life. <laughs> you should try it. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I recently read in a blog that introducing a fantasy character mm. can uh, keep the flame burning in your relationship. Keep the fire burning, huh? I could burn a little bit myself. Okay. Hey, honey. Hi, babe. I um, just came over to borrow some towels. We're out next door. OK, no problem. Whatever you need. What's mine is yours and vice versa, even at work. Look at you. <laughs> so how's it going over there? Yo, uh, business as usual. Oh. Making that money for my honey. <laughs> Your honey like that money? I know you do. <laughs> did you get those cakes delivered, or did anything else come in a uh, delivery? No, I'm waiting. No, no, no delivery trucks. Not one. Uh, I'm not just going to get those towels. Uh, yeah, back to back clients. So. Hmm. What's that about? Maybe he didn't get your delivery of flowers that you sent. No, I know what I saw. Oh, Cheryl, just give it some time, okay? Uh, give it some time to get the clients together, get the money together. Oh, right. got, all that. got the uh, towel there, honey. I'll, that's uh, all you need? Yeah, that's it, that's it. I'll, I'll see you at home. Yes, you will. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> You know, 
was gonna get that subscription canceled. I only did that to help some kid out with his fundraiser. You know, I've been thinking, Kenny, I want you to get rid of the shoes that Alicia gave you. Oh, come on, Angelique. Look, I told you, these shoes are just a gift. They, there's no sentimental value. Mm-hmm. So you don't think of her when you're wearing them? Well, not until you brought her name up. Then what about this? <laughs> look, look, you went and dug that box out the back of my mm -hmm. closet? Look, what were you looking for in there? Clues. Because obviously my boyfriend is hiding things from me. Oh, like cards and letters and sexy photos of Miss Alicia! Look, babe, I haven't seen that box in over two years, and honestly, I forgot it was even there. Hmm. Oh, you haven't seen these photos? In over two years? No, I haven't. Whoa, well, let me see that one. Yeah. Uh, but babe, look, calm down, calm down, calm down. I'm just playing with you. Look, I haven't seen those pictures since I broke up with, with what's her face. Yeah, you're right. You probably go to this raggedy box to reminisce whenever we have a fight. No, I don't. And, and I understand exactly how you feel. You do? Yes, I do. Look, if you want me to get rid of these shoes, I'll get rid of them. Really? Yes. Oh. Yes, baby. As long as you promise to get rid of your ex's tattoo on your lower back. I'm just saying. What, Kenny? That thing is microscopic. And besides, you know how painful it will be to get rid of a tattoo. Oh, well, do you know how painful it will be to get rid of my limited edition J's? That's not the same. Really? Really? Okay, look. Well, how about I go down to Tatman and have my boy Antonio put my ex's initials right here on my shoulder? Huh? I don't care. You want Alicia Carter's initials? Go ahead. Her initials are the same as mine. Okay, well, keep talking. <laughs> I'll have him add her middle initial, Bianca. Well, maybe you forgot my middle name is Bernadette. So there's that. <laughs> ah, damn. me you still ain't told Cheryl about your secret admirer? Yeah, uh, no, no, and I don't plan to either. Uh, this secret is going to the grave, which is what I did with those other flowers. <laughs> well, it was a pet cemetery, but at least the flowers didn't go to waste. <laughs> oh, man, you wrong for that, Jay. Why? Uh, so she can make something out of nothing? No, it, it's harmless. Yeah, that's what Bill Clinton said. Yeah. That's all the more reason to tell her. Look, completely harmless. Now, now, now you, uh, your lady, strutting around here with her ex's uh, uh, initials on her butt. Right, right. Jeez. Jeez. Your lady got her ex's oh. initials tattooed on her butt? What, right. like one letter on each cheek? No, no, look, it's on her lower back, man, not her butt. Oh, well, and that's just a tramp stamp. <laughs> that's the same thing. Yeah. I mean, depending on how much junk she got in her trunk. Because I used to date this woman named Loretha, and the small of her back was just a figure of speech. It wasn't nothing small about her back. Loretha had an yeah. ass on each hip. I'm telling you, man, that woman was... I mean, look, I, I got the tattoo situation handled. Jay is just trying to get off the subject. What? No, Jay, look, guys, I, I am not trying to pursue this woman. No, that's because you haven't seen her yet. Yeah. What if she hot to death like it, Halle Berry? Ooh, has a body like Nicki Minaj, I or a neck like Mike Tyson. Right. I like me some neck. All right, yeah, yeah, gentlemen, look, look. <laughs> I don't care what she looks like. Cheryl is my wife for life, and I plan on keeping it like that. Tell that to your first two wives, see? <laughs> There, I have a delivery for a Jay Weaver. Oh, Jay, the dream weaver. <laughs> yes. Oh. All right, fellas, come on in. Bring it all in. Yeah, yep, yep, go. over here. Mm -hmm. Hey, ho, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is all this? What in the world? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Are you, are you sure all this is for me? Mm hmm. Yes, sir. You must be doing something right to be getting all this loving. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Uh, Enjoy. Well, uh, thanks. I. What? Well. Okay. Uh, so tapered? Uh, mm -mm, you can't hide that. I saw that big ass teddy bear pass by my shop door. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. Huh? What are these special gifts for you? Not for me. Yeah, that's say your name, honey. Are no. you trying listen? Do you have a secret lover I need to know about? What? Yeah, come on, Doctor. Hey. <laughs> no, 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 honey. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, the all this mm -hmm. is for Smitty. Yep, uh, Smitty. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> Smitty. Smitty is uh, is the one with the uh, secret admirer. City oh, Smitty, huh? Smitty. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> Look at all this. Yeah. Ladies love them some Smitty. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, look at this. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My secret admirer didn't remember I'm allergic to hydrationers. Yeah, those damn hydrangeas. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> there that is. All right, I'm going to head back onto the salon. Yo. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> These are nice. Here you go. All right. Uh, um, one of uh, these are for you.
Oh, what you? I can't believe my husband just straight up lied to me in my face like that. Hmm. So maybe Jay does have a little secret admirer that he's trying to protect you from. Protect me? Yeah, why else would he lie about all those gifts? You really think so? Mm hmm Shut up, wait a minute. I'm the one that sent him that big-ass teddy bear. So? You don't know that. But if you really want to catch him up, I say we send him a note from that little secret admirer trying to set up a rendezvous late at night. And if he goes, then, girl, you better lawyer up. This was supposed to be romantic and fun. It's not fun, Percy. It's not. Oh, it's not. Fun for me. <laughs> Why? Nothing. Hey. Hi. So did you get rid of the shoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, huh? How about that tat? All gone. Right, right, babe, babe, all right. Yeah. Oh, 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 sorry, I'm sorry, you still sore? Oh, you can say that. All right. So what happened to the shoes? Uh, look, well, technically, you know, I, I, I didn't get rid of them yet. Oh. But, but, but spiritually, I have, I have let them go, mm. okay, and, and that is the first step. Yeah, spiritually, I'm gonna put my foot in your ass. <laughs> and I didn't get rid of my tattoo either, but I did find one hell of a bottle of concealer to hide it. Oh, so you want to <laughs> have me get rid of my shoes and think I would not find out about the tattoo not being removed? That's foul. No, you're foul. You're gonna have me go through the pain of tattoo removal when the shoes were in your closet? But just like your brother, you know what, you know what? Hey, hey. Whoa. I think, I think you should go, you should but go. You know what? You should go. Kimmy, I was planning on going. That's okay, and take that whack tat with you. Yeah, you stay in your shoes, because that's the only thing you're gonna be getting into. <laughs> Tell me she really didn't remove the tattoo? No, nah, man, you know what? I cannot believe she tried to play me like that. And, and now we're both mad at each other over something so stupid that we haven't talked all day. Brother, you are one popular player. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what to do. There you go. Here you go. Yes. So, uh, what to say? Uh, uh. There are 11 more roses to go with the single one you're holding. Meet me at 8.30 tonight for dinner and romance unfolding. Oh, dang, man, she's pretty good. So, uh, you gonna go or what? I don't know. Uh, on one hand, I, I think I should go confront her and let her know that I'm happily married. Well, I think she already knows that. Mm. Hell, just go see who it is, Jay. I'll go with you. That way, if she's halfway attractive, I'll be there to console her when you let her down easy. <laughs> what? Why does that actually make sense? Well, I make sense when I want to. <laughs> but uh, if your secret admires a guy, you're on your own. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Yeah. Look, uh, I just wanted to apologize for being so stubborn and, and, and lying to you, because yeah. you mean way more to me than some stupid shoes, mm. okay? Well, I'm, I'm sorry for being so childish. And, and look, look, I, I realize that, that if they bothered you that much, I, I care enough about you to, to get rid of them, so I sold them on G-Bay. Oh, right? Kenny, okay. well... That's sweet of you, Kenny. And I've been thinking too. And since you sold the shoes, I'm going tomorrow to get the tat removed. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. okay, okay. I've given it some thought. Mm -hmm. And you should keep the shoes. What? Wait, wait, you, 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 you changed your mind about me keeping gifts from my ex? No, hell no. No, no, no. But uh, full disclosure, I'm the one who bought the shoes on G-Bay. What? Yeah. Hold on, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. get it. Why, why would you do that? Maybe because like, now uh, the shoes are officially a gift for me. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Okay, 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 right, but, right. But those letters and the photos. Burn, baby, oh, burn. Yeah, you know, no problem, no problem, no problem. It's all good. That's. Oh, baby, this is so sweet. Well, you know, I had to get some takeout for my baby. <laughs> And these flowers? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. And you know I love chocolate? Yes, I do. Oh, and the bear is a bit much, but it's super cute. It's super yeah. baby. Oh my god, you shouldn't have. I, I know, I know. Oh it my was nothing. Oh, such a good boyfriend. Mm. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh. Hey, um, so let's eat. Uh, let's, let's eat. Okay, here. Yes. Um, you got your chopsticks. So and um, Damn, this place wow. is packed. <laughs> They're calling Kaepernick open corner? Uh. Sure do look like him. 
So glad Mabel's out of town. I, I don't need her all in my secret admirer drama. Oh, yeah, well, look over there, Jack. That must be her. She the only woman here alone. Yeah. <laughs> Hey there. Hello. Hey. <laughs> nice night we having here, ain't it? Yeah, I guess, you know, I'm just trying to decide what I'm having tonight. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, <laughs> what I'm not having tonight is an affair. I'm sorry, what? Hey, uh, yeah, listen, <laughs> I know you're my secret admirer, but uh, I'm married. <laughs> and I have zero interest in having an affair. Excuse me, what? Take a hint. He don't want you. Good, I don't want him either. <laughs> oh, come on. I, I know you've been sending me all those nice gifts. It's... Oh, sweetie, I don't send gifts. I receive them. And I don't know what this is about, but if you'll excuse me, I'm going to finish enjoying my own company. Wait, wait. So you, you, you're not my secret admirer? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> Simple, no, what a surprise. Yeah, you're not my type. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but your friend here is kind of cute. <laughs> hey, I'm Smitty. <laughs> I think you're kind of cute, too. So cute. I like your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Beat it. <laughs> See, hey, hey, baby. Hey. Hey. Yeah, uh, sure. What, what are you doing here? Huh? Oh, I should be asking you that. Yeah, I am uh, just being uh, Smitty's wingman uh, for this um, new single woman he wanted to meet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since when has Mabel's tables been the place for singles to meet? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but um, uh, Smitty seems happy, so my work here is done. <laughs> <laughs> I know all about your secret admirer, Jack. My who? Yeah, I know all about her. You do? Ah, yeah. I don't know why you lied to me about her. Uh, sweetheart, baby, I have no idea who this woman is. Yeah, you do. No, no, I don't. Yeah. L listen, baby, I, I, I can't help it if women find all this attractive. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, they can look, but they can't touch. <laughs> Great policy. Yes. But that's a little too bad, because your secret admirer told me to give you this. Wait a minute. You must... Yes, Juicy J. I'm the one that sent you all the gifts. But why? Because I was trying to show my appreciation for the man I love, and it just all got weird. I don't know. Well, yeah, listen, honey, I, I appreciate all the gifts. Why'd you lie to me? I, look, I, I just didn't want to make something out of nothing. Hey, listen. There is no amount of gifts any woman could give me to take the focus off of you. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Mm -hmm. When I said I do, I still do. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I appreciate all this, but how much longer are you gonna keep this up? Uh -uh, I didn't say no. Which of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. they, yeah, they're from Smitty. Yeah, and what's that card? Yeah, it says, Dear Jay, thank you for hooking me up with my new secret admirer, who's not really a secret, but she admires me and I admire her right back. Aw, oh, that's sweet and Smitty kind of way. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Listen, no more secrets, all right? Promise me. Mm, I don't know if I could do that. What? Yeah, because I might have a little black lace <laughs> teddy from Veronica's secret. Oh. Way <laughs> upstairs. <Ooh. laughs> yeah, I got a little secret for you <laughs> that I want to tell you. <laughs> it don't look like a secret. It ain't going to be no secret. <laughs> come here, come on. Oh, I got you, I got you. You got me. <laughs> but then take Ooh. me, take me. Oh. Uh, you know, they got some cream. We'll fix that right up. Jay got some in his top drawer. Watch it, watch it. Shut up, Smitty. Got this box in my pocket, man. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Oh, what you got in the, the box there, son? Bam! Oh! <laughs>
<laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> I thought you were gonna let that cat swim away. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, it's about damn time, Kenny. Jay is right. Ain't nothing but catfish out there in this sea. <laughs> hey, Kenny, who's gonna be your best man? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Smitty, I think you might be jumping the gun a little bit. She still gotta say yes first, you know? Well, you don't think she'll say yes? You think she's gonna say no? No, no, no. no. I'm not built for rejection. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm slow down, Turbo. No, just, <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, you know, it's a little early for us to be playing. Never mind. How are you gonna do it? <laughs> well, uh, I was thinking about asking her tonight at Mabel's. You know, that was our first Whoa, little... Mabel's? Yeah. Man, ain't nobody want to eat fried goose knuckles and, and gas station wine while they're getting proposed to? I think you ought to bake her a cake and put the ring inside it. That is so ridiculous. What if she swallows it? In swallowing the point? Oh. To eat the cake. No, Smitty, look, the point is I want it to be perfect. I mean, what about like in the, the Grand Canyon or, or a hot air balloon? No, huh? no, no, no. Too far. Hmm? Too outdoorsy. Ring might fly out your hand. Yeah. We might catch on fire from yeah. the flame. The whole balloon might blow up and y'all end up yeah. dying of fire. Okay, Smitty. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, look. Now, it isn't the whole point to show her how much you care about her. You know, women like sentimental things, you know? What if you bring her back to the place where you had your first date? Like I was saying, Mabel's. Mabel's? Yeah, I'm saying it. Yeah. Sweetheart, but do you put your feet up on the furniture at your I was, mama's house? I, I was, I, 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 I was, I was, I was what? <laughs> feet down, sit up straight. Mabel, don't play that. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Miss Maple, is whiplash covered under workman's comp? Don't say nothing, Karen. See that guy in the suit? Don't look, just listen. I've been around a long time, and I can spot a mole. He is either a PI, a process server, or a narc. <gasps> In any event, I'm not here. You get rid of him. Um, uh, good, good afternoon. <laughs> Table for one? <laughs> That's cute. Actually, I'm here to see Mabel. Who? Mabel. One word. Say it slow. Mabel. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> There's no one by that name here. This is Mabel Sables, right? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Good. I thought I was in the wrong place. <laughs> so go get it for me, please. I swear, I don't know anything about the rectangular bricks wrapped in foil in our kitchen. And Mabel's in the back. Damn, to Karen 6-9? It's like that? I am so sorry, Miss Mabel. I guess I am not as gangster as I thought. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> you're Mabel. That depends. Who are you? Oh, well, I, I'm Ricky Randolph for the L.A. Daily's newspaper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not to be confused with Pretty Ricky. That's my cousin. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, we're interviewing uh, and profiling local entrepreneurs and upstanding citizens of the community, and we'd like to offer you a full front profile. <laughs> In the newspaper? Yeah. You want to profile me? That's what I do. And what I do? You like me like that? <laughs> Somebody does. Listen, uh, you got a few minutes. Maybe we can knock this out now. Oh, absolutely. We can go right into my office. Okay. Do you want me to hide the bricks? <laughs> Why don't we sit down right here? Yeah, this is fine. This works, right? Give us free, Mr. Jeffries. I don't have no more staples. <laughs> I'm trying, sir. Wait, wait. I'm trying. Wait, 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 you okay? Wait, oh, God. Oh, my God, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh God, it's been it's been a long week in this new, new position. It's killing me. I'm just I'm exhausted. Well, baby, I know you're excited about this opportunity, but don't get burned out before you even begin. Oh, this training is just boring me out of my mind. I am ready to get my hands dirty. Oh, you look like you've been working in the field already. That's not dirty enough for you. Honey, I just I just need to get down the basics, and then I will get my groove back. Okay, look, how about we get our groove back by having a romantic dinner tomorrow night? Mm -hmm. No phones, no work, just us. Oh, I wish, but I have to go play nice in the sandbox with a new client after work. Okay, okay, well, how about this weekend? This weekend, uh, we can have breakfast by the beach, oh. uh, and I can book us some massages. <gasps> Make sure your 
Saturday night ends happy. Oh, mm -hmm. I can't. I can't have Cece's baby shower, and then me and the girls are going to the 90s hip-hop baby mama's concert. OK, yes. OK, OK. Oh. okay. Oh. All right, all right. Well, that, uh, that leaves uh, Sunday fun day Yeah. just for us, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. OK, um, mm. how about this? Uh, after my women's empowerment book club brunch mm -hmm. and my black girls are a snack yoga class, uh, <laughs> I'll come home and we can meal prep and watch Getflix together. Babe, since yeah? when has meal prepping never been fun? When I let you butter the buns and lick the spoon. I want to butter the buns that don't need to be baked. Did you say something? Uh, no, no, I, I, I said, I said yum, 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 because I forgot about the Moscato I brought home for us to eat. Yeah. You okay? Duh. Yeah, I, I just wanted to have a romantical time with you. Maybe we could do that now. You sure? Oh, thank okay. goodness. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Well, hey, you know oh. what? Are you hungry? Because mm. we can eat and, and finish watching that show, Tower? Because I know that little white ghost has to finish somebody off with that oh, tummy gun he found, yeah. huh? Yeah, so that's a great <laughs> idea. Let me yeah. just take this <laughs> call while you get that all ready. Yeah? yeah. Just, it, it won't just, be long. Just, Go for Angelique. Mr. Jeffries, a staples. Yeah. So, how did things go with Angelique? Man, it didn't. What? I don't know what happened last night, man. She was all over the place. Then when I tried to get with her this morning, she, she rushed out so fast, I, I don't even think she brushed her teeth. Oh, damn. Ooh, that's risky. I hope she don't get fired for her morning breath. Well, I respect a woman with a grind. Uh, this new position must be really important. Man, I don't care if it is. It's gonna be the only position she has left if she don't play her cards right. <laughs> I had a cousin who used to play his cards right. Got his head split open by a meat cleaver. Mm. What? Sometimes better let the other side win. Oh, good morning, fella. Hey, Here Mabel. You go. Yes, yes. Man, Mabel, these yes, sardine croquettes smell yes, delicious. Yes, yeah, Mabel, did you just add green eggs and ham to your menu? Maybe not. Because. These eggs look uh, a little... Did I mention that your breakfast is on the house? Because it is. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. What's the catch? No catch. It's just that your girl is celebrating. Well, it must be good news because you cheesing harder than a fat man at a cake convention. Yeah, yeah man, will you get one of them two-for-one callus removals again? <laughs> uh, actually, I did, but that's not it. The L.A. Daily Newspaper is honoring me, and they're giving me a front page spread. Get out of here. Oh, no. What? A front page spread? Man, that's awesome, Mabel. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And it's about time somebody acknowledged me as the strong, independent OG that I am. Right, right. Yes. You know what? That yes. makes me great publicity for this restaurant. There you go. With all this free publicity, I'm thinking, Expansion. Right. Ooh, yeah. Right. Maybe right. the expansion is expensive. Are, are you sure you're not getting ahead of yourself? No, I'm not getting ahead well, of myself, uh, Jay, because I'm going to start small. Uh huh. Mabel's rooftop downtown LA. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Mabel's Hollywood. What? Mm. Mabel's tables of cops. Mm. <laughs> Don't you mean Bompton? For sure. <laughs> Them too. Everybody got to eat. <laughs> Well, uh, looks like nobody's eating over here since you're talking to us. Yeah, well, careful, son. You might get one of uh, Mabel's famous knuckle sandwiches. Right. Yeah. 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 Excuse me, gentlemen and Smitty. Oh, this is the newspaper. <laughs> they probably want to set up some kind of big photo shoot or something. Oh, no, I'm sure. I'm oh, sure that's it. No. Yeah. Hello? Yes. Uh. Say what now? Yeah. Well, if I could speak to Ricky. Uh, what you mean? You know what you tell him? That Mabel's Tables is a staple of this community, and we don't need him or his article. Oh. What happened, Mabel? Well, that damn Ricky got all in my business. Now, the paper don't want to do an article on ex-cons, oh. even reformed ones. Wow. And they have revoked my front page spread. Ah. They must see in your back page. <laughs> I can't believe they reneged on my article. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, the man stayed trying to keep a sister down. Mm -hmm. So what exactly did he say? He said something about the background check. Mm -hmm. They found some kind of stuff. I should go down there and check their ass. Sure. Oh, Mabel, I don't know. Well, that could land you back in the slammer. Maybe you should write them a letter instead. Yeah, a letter. And then after I write the letter, I could ask to speak to the supervisor, clueless Karen. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Keep going. 
Uh, you, you know what, Mabel? Uh, Karen might be right. If you go down there and wreck up the shop, it could backfire. Yeah, you can end up on the front page news in the worst way. Yeah. Well, well, what happened, Mabel? They find out you used to run numbers for Sugar Ray and them? No. Well, they find out you used to uh, be the West Coast Connect for Bumpy and them? Damn, no, Smitty. You know all my business. Well, what did you do to make them take you off the feature? Ricky found out I did time fencing goods for Booster Billy. Oh, damn, man. So what are you gonna do? Hell, the last time I failed the background check, I just made a few calls to my connects, and they got me what I needed in no time at all, and it's behind the counter to this day. <laughs> that Mabel, she sure is a straight shooter, isn't yeah. she? <laughs> Hey, Kenny, you hardly touched your braids, boy, Bacon. Uh, I'm not hungry, Smitty. Uh, you've been quiet all day, son. You're everything okay? Though, honestly, Jay, I mean, I'm starting to think Angelique doesn't want to be with me, let alone get married. What happened? Man. Oh, I know what happened. He probably called about a wrong name when he proposed. No, 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 guys. Look, man, just, I just haven't had the chance. I mean, every time I plan something, he has to cancel or, or work late or she falls asleep. Look, if you really want to marry that woman, stop trying to wait for the right time and make the time right. Yeah, man, but she has to meet me halfway. Kenny, if you didn't think she was, you wouldn't be planning on making her your better half. Jay's right. Women like it when men take the initiative. <laughs> That's right. A little wine, a little cheese, a little baby, baby, please. She'll slide right into your lap. That's what happened with Mabel. Sure did. Hey, wait, wait, hold up. But you didn't marry Mabel. Stay out of grown folks' business, Kitty. Time ain't right yet. <laughs> Time ain't gonna never be right, Smith. Okay, hey, look. Uh, listen, son. Uh, you just gotta keep it simple and, and make it happen. Jay's right again. I mean, his three marriages may not have worked, but he's three for three for getting them to say yes. A little early to call it on this last one. Yeah, yeah, Mabel. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Cheryl know who she married. See you. Okay, Kitty, I made a rose petal heart on your bed, and I tried to fold up the towel in one of them swans, but I only know how to make paper airplanes. Oh, man, this is all good, Smitty. Uh, what do you think, uh, vanilla or, or pumpkin uh, scented candles? Well, pumpkin might spice up the mood. What's on the menu? Uh, well, you know, I, I, got, I got oysters to turn her on, okay. and, and then I have a champagne to loosen her up. Right, right. And then I got her favorite, ribs, because she's so finger looking good to me. Hello. <laughs> hey, uh, Smitty, man, I, I really appreciate you helping me out, man. Oh, it ain't no problem, Kenny. I love love. Besides, I'm trying to secure my spot as your best man. Okay. You got the ring? Yeah, yeah, I, I got it cleaned on the way home. Well, where you gonna ask her? You want me to lead a room or you want me to take some pictures? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think that far. I thought it would happen naturally. <laughs> Maybe you should practice. Okay, okay, right, um... <clears throat> will you marry me? The ring, Kenny. Oh, right, right. Angelique, will you marry me? I don't see the love in your eyes, Kenny. You don't even act like you really want me. You don't even smile with your teeth you when you what? say... Forget it, Smitty. Oh, come on, man. Come on, come on. Now, let's get it right. Let's try it again. Let's change places. Okay, okay. All right, let's try it again. Now, let's take a knee. All right, all right. Let's straighten your back up, man. Act like you're kneeling for cow. Okay. Angelique, will you marry me and make me the happiest man on the planet? Yes, yes, yes! Mm. Hey, that, 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 that's perfect. Yeah, 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 I think that is. Uh, okay. This is good. This is the best spot. You want to give a soft place to land? <laughs> you don't want to faint and knock herself out. True that. Well, uh, I think she'll be here any minute. I can't believe she stood me up. You smoke crack, don't you? Can I get anything else, Jay? No, oh, actually, uh, Karen, I have some more coffee. Yeah, but uh, I'll let Benson here get it for me. <laughs> don't pay him no never mind, Karen. He's just jealous because he don't look this good in a uniform. <laughs> uh, Smitty, what is with the get up? You look like a dancer in the Shirley Temple movie. <laughs> Whatever, Jay. If you must know, I was helping Kenny with his proposal to Angelique. 
And that's what a best friend does. And that's gonna make me a shoe in to be the best yeah. man. Smitty, Smitty, Smitty. I am sure my son, Kenny, would want his father, that's moi, <laughs> to be his best man. I, 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 uh, no. Kenny is my best friend, and everybody knows that the best friend is always the best man. I thought I was your best friend. You were, and you will be again after this wedding. And that way, I could be the best man at your next wedding. <laughs> so how did it go? Did he propose? Angelique can't even show up. Oh my goodness, Mabel, what happened? Do you need me to handle your lightweight? <laughs> well, look at you. All oh, got my back. <laughs> Baby, you learn quickly. But it's all good, Karen. I made him an offer he can't refuse. And I want you guys to be the first to see my oh. full page article in the wow. LA Daily. <laughs> Now, how'd you pull this off? You put him in a half, Nelson? No, Smitty, you I... You put him in them leather straps you got back there and make him... <laughs> Mabel can be very persuasive when she wants to. <laughs> yeah, yes, she can. And, and, and Mabel, I actually owe you an apology in front of all your friends and customers who have nothing to do with this. Uh, you were right. You did the crime, but you also did the time. If you managed to turn this restaurant into a community staple, and for that, you should be proud. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She scared you to death, huh? She scared... No, 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 no. Mabel just had some very compelling arguments. And at the end of the day, I'm just glad that we were able to see eye to eye. Karen, give Ricky a cup of coffee and an ice pack. Breakfast is on me, Ricky. So how'd you get him to change his mind? I have hacker friends down in Antarctica, and they hacked into Ricky's webcam, and I used those pictures to get as close as I could to blackmail without violating my parole. I have so much to learn from you. <laughs> Starting with this. No, baby, fold, fold, fold it over. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hey, sleepyhead. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, what, what, what happened last night? Mm, I got home and you and Smitty were passed out on the couch. What kind of boys' night includes ribs and champagne? <laughs> uh, actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. <laughs> Why didn't you wake me up? I'm sorry. It was late, baby. I mean, after I kicked Rumpy Smurf out of here, you were just, you were sleeping so peacefully. I just lay down next to you. But why was why was Smitty dressed like Jeffrey from Fresh Prince? Why were you late? Why are you tripping? Because we had plans, remember? Look, Angelique, I'm I'm starting to feel like you you don't have time for me for for us. Kenny, I got caught up at work. I really am sorry, but babe, I I have a life outside of you, and I I can't just be here all day every look, day. Look, Angelique, you always. Asking me to be considerate of how you feel, but I need you to consider how I feel for once. But Kenny, I am trying Look, to... nothing, Angelique. Look, I, I cooked dinner. I even planned a special night for us. I, I bought your favorite champagne, and you couldn't make it here on time? Okay, baby, I Don't really... Don't baby me, Angelique. Those puppy dog eyes won't work this time. <sighs> you won my proposal. You are gonna propose? I was. Kenny, baby, I am so sorry. Look, Sorry. Look, Angelique, look, I love the fact that we're able to do our own thing and, and come home and, and, and share our lives together. Yeah, I do too, and I, I didn't realize how much I was neglecting us, and I will make a better effort to make sure that we spend more time together. Look, Angelique, that's just it. I don't just want more time. I want the rest of our lives. Oh. <laughs> 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 whoa, 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 babe, babe! Hey, 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 babe, 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 no, 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 no. Hey, hey, don't, 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 don't scare me like that. Don't scare me like that, girl. Okay, okay, okay. all right. We here? We here? We here. Okay, We're here. Okay. Okay. okay, let's do this. All right, okay. <sighs> Angelique, will you make me the luckiest man in the world? Yes. Give me yeah. yes. Give me yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
here come the lovebirds. Congratulations, you two. Oh, thanks, Mabel, and congrats to you, too. I saw the paper this morning. <laughs> oh, thank you, sugar. Now, let me see that ring. <laughs> My baby did uh, good, didn't he? Uh -huh. <laughs> he did. Kenny, how much you pay for that ring? Oh. You, you know I could have got Booster Billy to get you a real hookup on that. <laughs> hey, hey, son. Yeah. Did you do it? Did you do it? How'd you do it? Yeah. You know, it all happened so quickly, Jay. I'm, you know, uh, I, I popped the question, uh -huh. and then once she, you know, came to, she said yes. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Did you say came to? Well, you know, she, she fainted on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least the couch was there to catch you. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was the perfect spot. <laughs> so, Kenny? Who's gonna be your best man? Yes, uh, me. <laughs> I'm gonna be his best man. Don't listen to him. He don't even really care. Oh, this is saying? my son. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna be... I will get back to both of y'all, okay? <laughs>